Building downtown. Building downtown. Building downtown. This is the Billion Downtown. I'm your host, Jason Kelly, joined as usual by my co host, Krill Kasatsky. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at The Building DT and be sure to follow and subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, all major platforms. Yep. Krill and I just got listening, to, just got done listening to some uh, DJ Premier. Mm hmm. You checked out some Diabolic over DJ Premier. You were a Diabolic fan. And the final verdict? Fuck, it sucked, man. I don't know what happened. I mean, it didn't suck. I still like Diabolic's writing. I really, I really, really like his writing. I mean, he's not saying much, but the way he, like the actual rhyme patterns. And he's not saying much in terms of topic for the whole song, but each punchline is sick. You know what I mean? I find it. I, like, I understand it a lot. You know what I mean? Shit's deep. We were just talking about Vinnie Paz a minute ago as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. But dude, I don't know what the fuck did they think about putting Diabolic on a beat like that. You know what I mean? So I'm sure Diabolic had some say in it. Yeah, but Premier's not just he, dropping beats off at the door and saying I'm out. It's, yeah, a lot of that. That's why he got in a fight, with, well, in an argument with the uh, with the Immortal Technique because who Diabolic? Yeah, Diabolic, Talib Kweli, and Immortal Technique are in a fucking beef. <laughs> <laughs> what? Diabolic was saying to bring them both and battle me. He's like, battle me, you motherfuckers. You think you're fucking tough, maybe in your old little realm, but not when you step out to normal people. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't see, the, I don't see mortal butt battle in fucking diabolic in no fucking way. It I wouldn't mean, be a battle. It maybe some shit on wax. That's what I mean. Because in, in entertainment wise, I don't think diabolic would pull. I mean, I don't, I don't think immortal would pull it off. You know what I mean? Uh, diabolic would come in like a fucking wrecking ball. Yeah, an immortal technique too is more about getting a message out. So I mean, it would be some, some monotone like, shit. Boom, 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 you yeah, know what I mean? If they did like a real legit battle, that's what Diabolic was asking for. Oh, like legit. Yeah, he, he said, come both of you, I'll fuck you up. Said, come battle me. So not on wax, like, no, like in a league? As far as I understood it, I might be getting it wrong, but it was like he was on IG Live or whatever. You know where the comments going? He's talking yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he was saying that. He's like, you think you're fucking, you think you're good? Come battle me or come fucking fight me. Whatever the fuck you want. Oh, fuck. <laughs> don't, don't go fight him. Uh, well, he was pissed. His album was getting pushed back because Diabolic was releasing his, and he was his was supposed to go. Oh, I mean, Diabolic was pissed because uh, Immortal's album was supposed to come out before his, mm -hmm. and it kept getting pushed. So his album kept getting pushed, right? And he's just like, "Let me release my shit. My shit's done, right?" Yeah. So that's why they got into argument. And then, huh? Tadip Kali had a song, Di Diperbolic or some shit. Oh, yo, yo, yo! I remember that shit now. Fucking garbage. I remember that. I like to live a lot too, but that was not one of his shining moments. That's what I'm saying, man. That I don't, I don't want to see Tali Tali battle. No, you know what no, I mean. It's like no, like it's not. Common came out all right with that fucking Ice Cube shit. You know what I mean? But yeah. that, that's like one in a million fucking shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. For a rapper like that to come out with a good fucking rah rah song, you know. And Common also called Drake Canada Dry, so <laughs> there's that. That, that was that was uh, that was funny. But I mean, you you know what I'm talking about the common song against fucking what is it? Yeah, uh, the bitch in you. What, what side? What side connection? He was distant, right? Uh, yeah, he it ended up being a West Side Connection disc, but it was aimed at Ice Cube mostly. Uh, I see yeah, the yeah, bitch but in I mean, you, he, bitch in he you. Came through, like he that. came through on that, you know what I mean? For uh, for being uh, that type of rapper to yeah. recording a diss song. Well, guys like Common, guys like Talib, uh, Pharrell Monch, like those type of guys, they can rap their asses off. They just don't. Yeah, but you don't see them in that light, though. Exactly. I, I, I don't. You know what I mean? It was weird, but. Common actually did it all well, right. One, I, I was actually fucking shocked when Drake came up with Back to Back and all that. Well, Back to Back was actually fucking. I, mean, I don't know who vicious. wrote all that shit, but fucking Back to <laughs> back, back to Back is nice. I'll give him credit. I've I've always. Uh, I mean, not he uh, might, not always heard, but I haven't heard any different that he didn't write it. Right, so. Well, I keep hearing that he's and he's no stranger to admitting that he has ghostwriters. So, so that's fucking, what I mean, right? He's so not, you know, if you, if you wrote thirty percent of the song, though, that's fucking that's thirty percent of the song. Yeah, but he still he beat me. He beat Meek. He beat Meek. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Did he beat Meek or did he fucking cruel motherfuckers beat Meek? Right, your, your lines came through bills, so you are Kane. Yeah, like right. Pat said to Kane, caustic buying lines off. Like. Eminem's, or, Eminem's, lines up caustic, I should say. Eminem's latest shit when he was freaking out there is like I, I wrote every little bit of, of any fucking thing that I ever murdered. Yeah, and fall. Right? So that's what a it lot should of be. I mean, that was if at. we're talking about rap, anyways, yeah. right? If we're talking about pop culture, which Drake is, you yeah. know what I mean? I could see, I, I could be fine with Drake's fucking pop pop singles be written by somebody else or be helped with, right? But that's what I mean. I'll, I would, I'll, I'll I give him really, the benefit of the doubt. I would really, would really suck if Back to Back was written by somebody else. That's or, right. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to give him anything. It's just, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm not hating or nothing. It's just not for me and all that. But back to back really surprised me. Like, speaking, really surprised speaking me. Speaking of rappers on premiere beats, imagine Drake on a premiere beat. How do you think that would go? Ooh, I think that would need somebody to fucking 
guide him through that shit because I don't see. Have you ever heard Drake on some hard shit like that? I can't. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not a fan, so I haven't. Uh, so I haven't heard a lot of Drake. So I don't know if he's even ever on hard beats like that. Well, because can you imagine a soft premiere beat? Neither one of us are big Drake fans by any means. So I don't know. Maybe he does have a beat. Imagine that premiere. premiere. You got, you got, a, you got a video for it. And shit, it's it, was, it was a chart topper. We never even heard it. I mean, I'm a diabolic fan, and I'm fucking. I don't remember him having a premiere beat, but that's probably because I heard it, and I was like, nope. Yeah, yeah not yeah, for yeah. me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just so shocked that it goes from the hook to the verse, and it just—I mean, the diabolic song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just goes so fucking takes a turn left so fucking hard. You know what I mean? My eyes were fucking, my elbows were spinning. Mm-hmm. Fuck six. I hate when any sort of uh, hip hop does that. I was listening the other day to—I think it's called Change Up by Memphis Bleak, Beanie Siegel, and Jay Z. Jay Z doesn't even rap. He comes in at the end. It says he's featured in it, and he just talks and says, "I'm not rapping on these popcorn beats." Fucking. And like the the beat just keeps switching up from the the chorus to the verses, and the flow doesn't match any of it, and the whole thing just seems like a fucking mess. And that song is on Bleak's like retail album, one of them. You know what I mean? That's not some mixtape Somebody bullshit should, that they just threw out there. Somebody should they put out? I'm just shocked. Um, you know what I mean? At that level, you're a fucking. You know what I mean? Millions uh, of people are gonna hear it, and you, like, I don't know. Yeah. You know, like. Um. Yeah, though. Uh, premiere uh, Drake I mentioned there just you know, half ass joking but also to see what uh, what you would think I, mean, I, I wonder would... what I wonder what would happen it would Drake would have to rap yeah but I mean he did he did, he did his thing on the fucking forever or ever whatever the fuck remember with the Kanye yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then again I've never long, you like I've never on that. I've never heard his verse to be that tight ever again you yeah. know what I mean that verse is like a fucking he went at this guy Aristo back in the day uh, another Toronto rapper, mm. him, JD Era, Bishop Brigante, and I forget who else was on that track. <clears throat> and Drake went, Drake went pretty fucking hard at him. Oh, that's and what I mean. At I, that time, I mean, there's no way he was using Ghostwriters because he, you know, and, sitting in, in in the lab with with Bishop and Era and people like that to diss someone. You think they actually sat there and shit. wrote it right there? That's what I'm saying. I don't, Oh, it, all of them? Yeah, because yeah. it was... You think it, so? This is way, way, way back. Way, way, way back. Yeah, no, but I'm saying they, they, were, they, they could take the beat home, each one of them, right, and write at home, and then meet up at the studio and record it. They could. They, they right. could. But I, I love writing in the studio. Like, that gives me some... You know what I mean? It gives me... Because of the atmosphere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to mm. compete with the guy that's writing beside me, sort of, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's like fucking... I don't know. It's, it's just a different feel. I'm not saying... I, I don't know if the, it turns out better. Sometimes it does. You know what I mean? When you when you hit something and you record a verse and like fuck, say you just heard a beat and you have a verse in forty five minutes, that have shit you, that shit will be dope. Have you ever wrote shit in a in a studio while you're by yourself, like a full fucking studio I'm by myself? No, sitting there by yourself? No, no. no. You I've, I've written shit in the studio when people are in it. Yeah, 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 right? but not just by yourself. That wouldn't change much if I'm home by myself or I'm in the studio by yeah, myself. Yeah, it wouldn't make a difference. No. Just what's people your surroundings. People what makes a difference because you want to show up. Because the vibe and like. Yeah, because there's, there's rappers beside you mm-hmm. who are going to rap to the same beat who had the same time to write the shit. You know what I mean? And there's some sound engineers and all that shit in there too who know what they're fucking doing. Yeah. Right? So you, gotta, you, you, you it's, it's, it's a spark in the moment. It's, it's, it's different. It's nice. Yeah, I bet the vibe too. Like it just sparks something in you. That's what I mean. And, and, and you, you, you're like fucking... You, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, my shit is tight, right? You, you lay it down, and then the next guy goes in, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> rewrite, yeah, rewrite, maybe, rewrite. Maybe I got to create some shit. You know what I mean? It's, that's what it is, right? Mm. That's what I like about it. That's what I mean. Writing in the studio by myself wouldn't change much. That wouldn't change much? Not to me, no. It's the same shit. Man. What about writing in different places? Like, if you're writing, like, I don't know if you've ever done, I like, out like, in nature or... I like to be boxed in. I don't like to be... I, I like to be, like, excluded in my bubble. I don't want to be in the nature. I want to, you know what Opposite I mean? of doing mushrooms, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to be in a fucking, you know what I mean? Pretty much a closet where just the beat plays when I fucking click, click play. And that's it, you know what I mean? So nobody bugs me, no phone, no nothing. Because it, it, it takes me a while. When, not takes me a while, but it takes me a little bit to get into to get into it. You know what I mean? Like I listen to the beat for like half an hour. Just listening to it. You know what I mean? Walking around the apartment doing some shit and just fucking let it play. You know and what I mean? And, and I wait for that first bar. <laughs> I want to get the first bar. Once I got the first bar, it's it goes. I don't know where it's going to go. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> some people, I don't know, like there's there's a song structure and shit. You know what I mean? When I when I write stories, maybe yeah, but fucking. Um, Do you find a difference writing pen to paper or typing notes on your phone? I haven't written with a pen and paper since fucking 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since they came up with these flat screen fucking cell phones, why? 
Fuck. You know how mess it is whenever, like, because I, cor- bro, I correct the fucking, especially the first first eight, I correct them fucking a thousand times for sure. Because mm-hmm. they keep going, because the way I write, I, I record, I, I not record, I, I write a couple bars and I keep repeating them until the next one comes. I keep repeating them until the next one comes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the first fucking, the first four, eight bars have been fucking remade a thousand times. If I do it on pen and paper, pen and paper I'd have to fucking, you know what I mean? It's just a mess. Mm-hmm. This way I just, I literally, I don't even erase shit. I just move put it, it where down. I want to correct it and just move it down, right? So my, my, my fucking song could be fucking six pages long at the end of it, right? Yeah. It's just really 32 bars, right? What's the longest you ever take to work on a song? Because I know you killed that fucking, the Jay-Z and Dre song, Watch Me. That was the spark, that's what I'm saying. That's you, the spark. Yeah, fucking... you, I friggin', we were going through some beats for, for some shit for that mixtape. Yeah, yeah. And, uh. You heard it at my place, and the next day you sent me the rough copy. Yeah, man, because that, that's the spark. That's what I mean. Now I know you're working on a song right now. It's taking a little longer. But and, it's, a, it's in English, right? That's, I've never wrote in English. Oh, I guess yeah. That's that's the difference, the difference too. man. That's but what, okay, so in in Russian, what's the longest you've like? I'm sure you must have a pile of songs that have just been scrapped. Yeah, there's a bunch of the scrapped. Yeah, there's but, just fucking. But uh, the longest one, actually, probably the recent one, to fucking because it's just been going weird and rough lately, right? So fucking yeah, and it's crazy too. Like I, I said to you when um, I finished it, but it took me probably fucking a month because you, sp- you, you. But you know what though? The difference is if I actually sorry, they're just gonna finish yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. If I actually sit down, not sit down, but if I actually get get to writing a song, like I said, I let the beat play for twenty minutes, I smoke some weed, you know what I mean? In that process, I'll write a verse in probably fucking I don't know an hour or two. You know what I mean? And I'll correct it for the rest of the fucking time. You know what I mean? I'll just keep replaying it and shit. But if, like, the, the way I was doing this with, this with this song that I'm talking about, I just let it play in a fucking car. And I yeah. never wrote down the fucking lyrics. You know what I mean? The, <laughs> the whole verse was in my head, Trying right? Trying to Jay-Z it in your fucking yeah, well, head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't really it wasn't really writing, writing. It was just driving around listening to that beat until something comes. Yeah. yeah but yeah. it turned out very well because I never wrote it down. So the flow is just down to the fucking, you know what I mean? Like, More, it's, like it's, it's, it, it, it's trained. You know what I mean? Like, mm, it, it's just okay. to the T. It's, there's no... Then, and, like you uh, speak English perfectly, you could you can write, you could spell in English, and fucking, I always like I said to you so many times, I don't understand why it's so fucking hard for you to just write a song in English. Then and the sentence the sentence structure is different. And then when uh, Organic was on Pat Stay's show, or like his IG live thing a couple months ago, and they were talking about uh, oxymiron battling disaster mm. in L.A. Uh, what was that, 2016, 17, whatever the hell that was. And organic saying people don't understand. It's our Oxy's first battle in English. And yes, he speaks English, but that's something completely different. And it when is. I found that, I even thought that, I thought that then, right? I was like, oh, this dude went to Oxford. Like, he speaks English fluently. Fucking people are making this out to be something it's not. But then actually sitting beside you, watching you work through the process, it's like, holy fuck, there's that much of a difference, even though you can speak the language big difference, fluently. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, it doesn't take me long to write a verse in Russian. It, mm. takes, me, it takes me longer to correct it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, make, to make it fit the beat properly. The, the ideas and all that comes out quick, but the fucking English is so hard to... It's so hard for me to describe an idea... Within a bar, within a sentence, you know what I mean? Because just, of it, using the right words or the it, words that fit? It, because to, to make it make sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because I can rhyme words all day and I know enough, right? But I'm thinking it's just not enough not enough vocabulary, man. I need to pick up a fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. So, uh, fucking, we've kind of veered off of the, a premiere. But, yeah, it wasn't uh, supposed to be about me. But no, yeah, no, fucking. but fuck, it is about you now. So now we're talking about you. Producers. Um, but yeah, fuck! I wish I could get a premiere beat, bro. That's what, uh, what do you think you do with it? Definitely not what Diabolic did. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I mean, I'm not trying to fucking. I just, I just don't know. When you get a fucking premiere beat, why would you do? I mean, it is in their like in their. What do you call it? They're not a bubble, spectrum. but in their in their spectrum, yeah. right? Like the LBL and Vinnie Passes and all that kind of shit. But um, I, I just was I was very disappointed. Because I'm such a such a big fan of Diabolic and yeah. Premiere, you know what I mean? And they get together and they just in my opinion they flopped. But I don't know, you know what I mean? Who's your favorite producer? I don't think I have one, but somewhere between Timberland Timberland and Premiere, man. Somewhere in between there. They, you can't really compare the two. No, you, you know can't, what I mean? But that's it's, why, that's it's why. like if you want to talk about more mainstream shit that was put out, obviously Dre is somewhere in there too, right? But 
Trey is just yeah. he shouldn't be mentioned. Exactly. exactly. It's like yeah, it's, you know what I mean. It's, it's one of those things. People are like who are your favorite your favorite rappers. I'm like, well, let's exclude Pac, Biggie, M, J, all that shit. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Like there's no, like fuck. You want my top five? Well, there's four. There's everybody's four for the most part, right? Right, that's like, what I mean. So the Dre would be somewhere in there, obviously, but it's 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 to Timberland and Premier. Depends what you want to listen to. That's what I mean. Timberland's more mainstream. Do you think that some rappers should just, uh, even though they're good rappers, it it could be a bad thing, like fucking like oil and water type thing, where like, to go to a Premier beat or a Dre beat or Tim, whatever, whatever it may be. You just like that rapper doesn't. Work well with see that. Dre beats. I don't, I'm not sure about Premiere, but the, the things that I hear about Premiere because I've heard he, he produced some mainstream shit too, right? Yeah, he's doing Christina Aguilera's album. Where I've never, I've never heard a Premiere mainstream beat. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I, I have, but I don't know what his is his. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, from yeah. the shit that I'm hearing from from the like Gangstar and the shit that he produced for yeah, other yeah. people, the Premiere beats that we're familiar with. Yeah, they're 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 strong and they're hard, man. You've got to be fucking. You know what I mean? Like, the the, the one you were showing you were showing me of Papoose. Papoose and Pap- Premier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 like yeah, the, yeah. The, what's the name of that? Um, Turn It Up, that one? With the one? Sim Sima. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. one, yeah, Turn It Up. Turn like, it up. to me, that beat is stronger than Papoose. I agree with you there. You know what I mean? He didn't, I he, think he rides it nice. But, but it's not... But it's not yeah, the, I think the, if that beat was given to Diabolic, it would have been a different story. And Diabolic do a better job? I would, I would, I'm certain of it. Really? I don't know. I don't know about writing the shit. I don't know about the the, the, the lyric the lyric capabilities of them too. I'm not comparing that. But, but it I'm would sound th- better overall. The, the, yeah, like the the, the listenability, <laughs> the ability. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the the, the, the final the, the final cut would be. Oh. Um, like I, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, Guru was writing his beats barely good enough. Who? Guru, right? Was it Guru from uh, Gangstar? Guru, Guru, Guru's a rapper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was weirdly writing his premieres beats pretty good. Oh, writing to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, he was yeah, he was yeah, yeah, But then sorry. again, I could not imagine him rapping over something else. Guru? Yeah. No. I mean, and does he have any like you know what I mean? Yeah, but not much. He he I shouldn't say not much. Definitely not not much that compared to how much him and Premier did together, right? Like uh Premier has very and they worked. They worked very, very, very well together. It's just like fucking. I'm trying to think of someone else who has some. Right. I'm trying to think of someone else who has, uh, you know, that that in-house producer. Like, there's. You think about back then. You got Wu Tang and shit, but you know, meth can flow over anything. Um, Inspected deck can flow over anything. Havoc's got a pretty, pretty distinct sound. He does definitely. Uh, um, that Swiss beats got a fucking. Difference. But where Prodigy did shit over other people's stuff, it's. I guess maybe a, a, a Ghostface killer, right? Like he's, I've never he, been a fan. Of yeah, I've mm-hmm. never been the biggest fan of his. But what his shit does works over those RZA beats, mostly. I don't think he'd sound great on a Dre beat. Like a classic thing, Dre beat. Oh, classic. I was going to say, the thing uh, about oh, Dre yeah. beats, they fucking fit. You know what I mean? They, yeah. They, 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 they change it, arrange it. Yeah, I'm not talking Dre with the Gatorade bottle on steroids. I'm talking fucking... <laughs> I'm talking Dre like in the in the nothing but a G-Thang video type beats. Yeah, the fucking... Um, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like those, those, those classic West Coast beats. First of all, West Coast, East Coast, but uh, most rappers can jive on that over the years, whether... It, you know, even if it's a stereotypical beat, like. Uh, but what are you saying though? What's the quote? What's who, which which producer has like an in-house? Cer- the, no, this? where you have that in-house producer, and you go outside of that, like a ghost face leaving Rizzo to do a Dre beat. Like could like not could s- that work? Yeah, see, the ghost now, face is a very specific example. It's though, a like, bad idea though. Can that backfire? In your opinion, not just that example. If they would come up with something I'm, like that, Bollock and Premier did. That's what I'm saying. Right, like, like that's he, what I'm saying. My expectations were so, like, you know So what back I mean? to Guru. If Guru would have fucking went outside of Premier Beats too much. They would have to really adjust to him. Where, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Really, really. Especially get, yeah. First of all, he had a very specific voice. At the time when they were thriving, when Gangstar was thriving, I mean, what's he going to do? Those fucking the Diddy, like, bad boy shit, uh, the, the Hitman? That's not going to work. Uh, the Wu-Tang beats. That's what I was going to say. A little that's, bit. That's the only one that I could see him. A little bit. He, he, he's been on those, beat, uh, on those beats, uh, RZA beat once that I know of. How'd that work out? 
Yeah. It's, see, that's what I mean. W- w- what Rizek brought that time and what the Guru bring that time because known capabilities of Premier and capabilities of Diabolic, the product of their meat was not satisfying to me. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. it, it all depends. I don't know what this say. I don't know much of Ghostface. But that's, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just using that as, as an extreme example where you, do you think that it can be, it could do more bad than good? It could, yes. Even and, though you're putting two fucking superstars But even, even though nowadays motherfuckers are, like, you know, how back in the day you had an in house sound? That's what we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, that's. You know what I mean? So that was yours. That was you. You, 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 yep. you developed the thing, even though it might be similar to fucking yeah. whatever it is. Like, Boot Camp was pretty sim- very similar to Wu Tang. Did they come out at the same time? Well, they're around the same, yeah. They're that era, but I didn't find them. But that they're still not similar. Not, they're still not. You don't, you don't find them similar, especially to an extent. Fucking, especially the Nocturnal album or whatever. That's not boot camp, but uh, what was? This? Well, they're still boot camp. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's yeah, not Sean Price and uh, and uh, Rock. That Monster. shit sound a lot like Wu Tang, man. It's not exactly the same, but this, you know what I mean. What I'm saying is, back in the day, each each group or each rapper or whatever the fuck it is had an in house, just the gangster, the Guru had fucking premiere, right? Yeah. And nowadays, Death Row had Dre, Daz, fucking. right? So, and nowadays they're all fucking spread out. Everybody's got the same fucking producer, and everybody sounds the same. Mm-hmm. There's no that authenticity, right? That's well, when that's that's when they crossed over and turned hip hop into fucking pop. There is, I agree with you there completely. Uh, the in-house producer thing, though, there there was always crossover to some extent, but the oh, in-house yeah, the, producer. I like that it gave a, a sound to the squad, kind of like, you know, you think of like uh, Death Row Records. There was a sound there. But by the time you got to like Rockefeller, where they had... Um, See, Rockefeller well, they was had, all over the place, right? They, they didn't have a fucking... They, well, they had a young Kanye in-house producer. They had a guy named Young Guru fucking in-house the, producer. They had Just Blaze in-house producing. Just Blaze is their producer. DJ yeah. Clue in-house producing. Um but there wasn't like the one or two guys, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But so fucking even, th- even though they were all working together, they should have came. I think they would have end up with a certain s- sound that would be distinct to them, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I would think so. Or like, look at fucking. Uh, I remember Just Blaze had an interview somewhere, and he was saying that Kanye would come in, and I would come into his room, and he would come into my room when they were beat making. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I would fuck with him and ask him how did he, how did he make his horns do that, and then fuck, you know what I mean? They were yeah. so they were exchanging information, and they were making them sort of together. Yeah. So it would end up, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I thought I even forgot that Rockefeller had in-house producers at all. I yeah. was I was thinking that they were all over the place, just like nowadays rappers, right? You know what I mean? Like you hear you hear three different songs on the radio, and a lot of times you you, you couldn't even fucking tell it's different rappers. You know what I mean? Yeah, thanks for not listening to the radio. Well, <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Though. Sometimes I, I got that. to you know what I mean in the car a lot and shit. But but that in-house producer thing, like yeah, it, you know if it's uh, Premier and Guru, it's one thing, or if it's even even Boot Camp, like the fucking who's the Boot Camp's producer? Evil D. Evil D? Evil D, for the most part. I mean, well, he was Black Moon's producer. Um, now, they stepped outside of it. I know Socrates. Because uh, well, I, I, I like their I sound. Know. I like, like the duo, the, the, you know what I mean? The, I'm not going to say it. No, he's dead anyways. Rest in peace. But the fucking... Uh, Sean Price? Yeah, pre, pre, pre-era when he got, you know what I mean? Started sounding different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pre, pre-that, like when he was still, I guess, I don't know what happened to him. He went to jail or whatever, but he did start sound a little different, even though I like him even post that. But yeah, yeah. when I'm talking about pre, like when they were, I guess, popping and they prime. Yeah. Those beats there, those, yeah. they were sick. Most of them were sick. Like even that Nocturnal album is fucking how old now. I still love listening to it. Yeah. Most of it. Yeah, anyways. I was in high school. I was mid-90s. But then I'm always, I'm fucking, I'm stuck on my boom bop shit, right? Mm. <laughs> I still think they gotta reinvent it and elevate that motherfucker. Yeah, they gotta <laughs> elevate. So having that uh, uh, team of producers, though, like where well, Dre has a team of producers too, right? Yeah, but I'm saying like as opposed to making that unique sound, where Rockefeller was a pretty good example because by that time, like I said, they had you know, Young Kanye, they had Just Blaze, Clue, Young Guru, fucking. Other names here and there that they didn't use uh, as much. So, like, uh, the, the the team that allows you to make different sounds, do you think that's better? Or to have that general sound like Gangstar did? 
Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know about Premiere, but I'm pretty sure that Timberland, Dre, um, all the big mainstream. Timberland was another one too. Back in the day, when he had like Missy and all them. Timberland's is distinct for sure. You can tell a Timberland beat from a fucking mile away. I've been doing it most of the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, now, do you think that's a be- like a better way to build? Uh, I think so because it gives you it gives you that uh, <coughs> it gives that you, you, you makes you unique, right? You get this is your sound. It might be similar to. But somebody. what about as an artist? Would you but rather have? I would rather have an in-house producer for the most of it and have like three, maybe like say album cut is like fourteen songs. I would love to for the in-house to be like ten of them, and then four outhouse just to touch the industry, just to make make make, make the shit fit in. You know but what one I mean? guy sound, or like that. Well, that's like what I was in-house. gonna say. I don't think that Timberland and Drake. I don't know about Premiere, but I'm pretty sure that Drake and Timberland don't make their beats by themselves. Not all Drake. of them. Oh, Dre, sorry, Dre. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I don't think it's just themselves making them beats. I think, like, for Dre, for example, he's pumping out so many fucking beats. You know what I mean? Like, it is prime there. Not prime, but a couple of years ago where he was all over the place. Gwen Stefani, you know, like, you know what I mean? He had, yeah. like, fucking, I don't know, five, six records dropping in a year. It's a lot of work, right? Mm. I don't think he alone makes it. I think it's a team of producers that he handpicked, and they just, um, they're stuck to using his samples. You know what I'm saying? So, so the, the samples that he made, they can't step out of that, right? They can't take a fucking, you know what I mean? It's that's been, what I'm thinking. So that's that's how you preserve that sound, right? And then he just takes it and finishes it. It's been a thing that people have been saying about um, Dre. But I'm not sure if that's what happens for the longest time. That like Daz produced a lot of the beats for Snoop early on on Death Row and never got credit for them. And not that Dre is really taking credit for other people's work, but people give him the credit and he doesn't tell them any different. Okay, yeah. now whether See, that's true I, or not, I don't know. But like you're just saying too, Dre's it's super team well, produced. It's supervised by him, right? So, so these guys, these guys were. I would think how, okay. So into a, a total, <clears throat> a complete beat for a song that Dre gets the credit for. How much percentage wise do you think he puts into that? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking that um, he has to, first of all, approve it, hear it, approve it, and then I think he puts the finished touch on it. He, he has that magic? Yeah, that he, he, it he finishes it up, right? So, you, so you don't think he's like ghost beating for lack of a fucking better I term? Mean, <laughs> I mean, like that fucking, uh, that piano in uh, Still Dre, right? Or still, whatever it was, Still Dre? Was it Still Dre? Still Dre. Where it's still to represent it for a DI, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 break, yeah. Your, break your neck, put your face in your lap. Um what do you call it? I, to this day, thought, like, not to this day, but till a few years ago, I thought that be, that was a Dre beat. And it's not? It's fucking Scott Storch. Oh, really? Scott Storch made the beat and Jay-Z wrote the lyrics. I knew Jay-Z wrote the lyrics. And fucking Dre, mini, mini, mini vanilla in it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's, um... I'm thinking that that's what I'm saying. He like if you, just let's say there's five people right working on beats. So what do you think they're bringing ideas to him? I'm thinking they're bringing him a skeleton, right? Saying here's ten beats I made. Listen to them, right? And, and he says he, I like this, this, and this, and then he just. I like, the, I like the, the word you use there, skeleton. That's a, that's a great word for that. Actually. Well, that's what it is, right? It's a, it's a fucking it's it's an unfinished rack, right? It's just an ideas put together, and then Dre takes it and does something to it. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I would imagine him doing. So what about for Premiere? What do you think he does? He I think Premiere sits in the basement by himself all night long, just spinning so. records. <laughs> I, I think so. I think Premiere is that fucking dude that's still like. I mean, I don't know. That would mean he works every day, all day. Premiere? Yeah, I'm sure he does. So this, is, but then again, I've, I've whether heard, it be on music or anything he's got going on, I've heard that shit about Dre that he's such a lab rat that he doesn't go anywhere. That's all he does. You know what I mean? He doesn't know what the fuck is going on in the world. Nothing. He just makes music. I can see that too. Right? So if you're like that, you could maybe potentially fucking pull it over. In the documentary, (laughs) Welcome to Death Row, uh, I forget the guy's last name. It's uh, Alonzo or Alonzo. Well, this is his first name. If you watch the NWA movie, you see lots of them in there. Anyway, he was with Dre when Dre was part of a world-class wrecking crew. And I'm pretty sure it's him. It says in Welcome to Death Row documentary, Dre told him one day he'd sell his soul to the devil. To be the best hip hop producer of all time, and he's like, I'm pretty sure somewhere the devil has a receipt for that fucking sale. No shit. Uh, <laughs> so, like you saying, he fucking just stays inside all day and doesn't even know what's going on outside. If you're fucking, you know, if uh, you're that committed, that's what you, the, you know. How I, how I know that is, or fucking heard about that is because uh, Dre was coming out of some venue somewhere, 
and uh, TMZ or whoever the fuck ran up on him because usual, right? And they're like, Dre, yeah. dude, what, what do you think about SMS headphones? Because 50 was coming out with SMS. Okay. And, and uh, Beats were just like, j- just over their prime ride, you know what I mean? Prime peak. And uh, Dre was just like, I don't know, 50's got headphones? I didn't even know, right? And he hopped on the car and left. And then they asked 50 Cent about it, you know what I mean? And uh, usually 50 would be fucking taking an offense to that no mm-hmm. right he'd be like who the fuck what right and then he, he what his answer was this that uh dre is such a lab right he doesn't come out of the fucking studio that he's not surprised that he might not know about the sms headphones <laughs> you know what i mean i mean that's the best response you can get in 50 cents fucking shoes yeah yeah right yeah. what are you gonna yeah. do start sucking shit about dre yeah right yeah yeah the one thing uh 50 has refrained from was talking any shit about m or dre well, he actually, I think, like, see, that's the, that's the thing about the fucking being a G, right? Like, being real, because a lot of these motherfuckers talk shit, and they're not, you know what I mean? They're yeah. just, they're there for the ride or for the fucking whatever it is, but 50 kept that mentality. You know what I yeah. mean? He's saying that M and Dre made him fucking what he is. Well, they gave him a chance. Anyways, yeah. he made himself, but they gave him a chance. He said, there's nothing in this world that would ever make me turn on them. Yeah. You know it what I mean? makes sense, too. No oh, shit. It makes complete that's sense. Why, that's why game doesn't make fucking sense. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Game doesn't talk about Dre. <laughs> no, but who the fuck? You know what I mean. Like you're riding fifties wave, man. No matter what, he was doing that. I get. <laughs> you know what I mean. No matter what, without fucking fifty, the com- documentary the- would not sell five mil. I fucking give you hundred percent. It would not. I agree with you completely. It would. It would, it would probably go platinum because the Dre, but, Dre product and shit. But that was the whole point at that time. You exactly. So how do, so how do you fucking go against or- that? This man lets you fucking ride his wave. You know what I mean? And the club is popping. Fucking 21 questions popping. All the shit that... I, as a hip-hop fan, I wish they would have fucking just figured it out. Bro, he ruined the I fucking... Wish all of G-Unit would have figured it out. He ruined the fucking brand. Because fucking 50, <laughs> Banks, well, Yale, you can come along. Yale's um, a fucking hype man, Buck, right? <laughs> Buck, fucking... Buck, solid as shit, representing the South. Game, representing the West Coast. All they needed was like a f- f- bisloke. There you go. There's their there's their up north motherfucker right no there. Shit, man. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like they had fucking. Um, they were like the Beatles for rap music, man. They, and like, at that point, anyways, Fifty has and they had a real New York sound. Banks had a New York sound. Buck had a down south sound. Game had a West Coast sound. The fucking they would gel so well. That's together. what Fifty was trying to do. Because uh, remember when the RZA 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 is the main guy, right? Not Jizza, yeah, Rizza's the main guy, and Jizza's Jiz- yeah. Jiz- Jiz- yeah, the Yeah, Rizza's a mastermind. So Rizza was talking about uh, releasing, not releasing all the guys, but he was trying to get uh, Wu-Tang members signed to different labels, right? So Wu-Tang presence would be everywhere, mm-hmm. right? This, the, so 50 did it on a larger scale. He got yep. motherfuckers from different fucking, uh, not continents, what do you call it, different sides of the country, yeah, instead yeah. of just being on different labels in the same city, right? Yep. The idea was good. And, you know, like I, I, I like G-Unit a lot, right? But they were popping, so I've researched a lot on them. And oh, yeah. The idea they was milit- That's, yeah, They were great. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I mean. They were like yeah. the Beatles for that moment. You know what I mean? They were on top of everything. Yeah, yeah. they blew up like... We There's no fucking way up. Yeo would have sold a million records. No. He if, it was, sold, if, if he wouldn't have sold a mixtape, for fuck's sake. If it was fucking, if he wasn't riding that wave, right? And that's what I'm saying. I don't think game would have came close to no, five million, definitely right? not. Definitely not. So how the fuck you turn around and fucking do this whole G-U-Not campaign? I uh, just ego tripping. But ego tripping on both sides, on both parts. You gotta, you gotta fucking like. And you, I think too that you gotta fifty realize he doesn't need game, and game he never doesn't need game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fifty realize he doesn't need game, and game didn't realize he needs fifty. That's the problem, exactly. Because right. 50 was there because Dre, Dre and M asked him or told him. You know what so I mean? Whatever the fuck it was. came into effect and fucking no, they 50, couldn't work 50 it 50 was talking about Buck that he was trying to stunt like the fucking, uh, like Big Meech and fucking uh, mm. Young, Young Jeezy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, like, but the problem was his CDs didn't sell like his CDs. <laughs> right? So, like, you got to realize that fucking, even Banks, I think Banks is a better rapper than 50. Fuck yeah. But he was Fuck yeah. him sitting going there. going rhyme skills, for sure. That's what I'm saying. But he's sitting there and he admits it. That's the boss. He made the fucking, you know what I mean? He made the fucking... He exactly. Made, he paid the wave and he made that music that everybody ate up. Yep. You know what I mean? And like in one of the fucking... Play your position. That's what I mean. In one of the fucking interviews on the radio somewhere, Big Boy or some shit, Banks was sitting there. He's like, no, no, man. We can't say nothing. I can't say nothing about him. That's the boss, man. That's the guy that signs checks. Exactly. He's the reason your baba so, is out the hood. How you fucking, how you, like the game, how could he compare himself to 50? They're completely See, fucking different. He came in under Dre, though, and then was placed in the G-Unit. 
But he, he wasn't a part of G Unit. He wasn't a part of G Unit. That's what I'm saying. Well, he was supposed to be representing G Unit West. So right over, yeah, because Dre signed him to Aftermath. I didn't because even on the fucking uh, yeah, was it Young Bucks or where, where 50, Young Bucks uh, album or Fifty's album when his uh, game comes in and he's like think, think that I'm uh, Yeo's replacement, but now I'm signed to the Doctor. You know what I mean? Meaning saying he's not a part of G Unit. I don't think he ever was. You know what I mean? No, they were trying to form like a G Unit West. But he had Black Bull Street or whatever it was, right? That was afterwards. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Black Bull he Street may have was had even... it before, but he didn't start rapping it till um, till uh, till after. At least I didn't notice it until no, after. No, it was always around, bro. It was always around. Even on his first videos and stuff, he's uh, get the uh, he's got Rap, the big rapping it. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, the big big face one hundred or whatever the guy his name is. Game left him in the hood, as far as I understand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Something happened, and then uh, big, big big face was sitting there. Um, he's like, oh, "We were black Black Wall Street this, Black Wall Street that." Now I'm back in the fucking hood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something didn't work out with Black Wall Street, so that's what it is. He 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 tried to elevate Black Wall Street to be like G Unit, and it had no potential for that at all, right? Like, let's face it. And uh, he just didn't understand that he needs to be number one on. West yeah. Coast and be number two and out of the whole fucking t- t- three head monster, three head yep. monster. Yeah, let's, let's face it. Could game really pull off? Like remember that uh, the whole thing with Dre M and Fifty and Fifty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, think yeah. game could have pulled that off? No, 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 never. No, Fifty was the guy. Like, That's what I'm 50 saying. Was this... a guy for M to sign and Dre to sign to be like it, the the third head of that monster that he, ended he up was like the protege him, right? right he's not the, and the game's saying oh, I'm Doctor's protege mm, I don't know and, and bringing that to Dre was fucking so intelligent because it, 50 got he got dropped from Columbia we got shot a bunch of times got dropped from Columbia started losing every opportunity that was out there everyone turned their back on him and M realizing that, hey, yo, we can do something with this guy, and he's damaged goods right now. And I love, too, that from the start... like Was the, the Josh shit going on already? It was going on, but M and Dre told 50, don't... You're dropping the jaw stuff. You're done with that, because we don't have a problem with them. 50 said, cool. Uh, jaw and Murder Inc. got real butt hurt, and we're like, you know what? Let's go after 50... Eminem that was and Dr. Dre, yeah, and I was, was like, fucking... whoa, ho, ho, guys, guys. The only the only dope shit that ever came out of that on Murder, Inc. side was, if, M, you said your, your mother's a crackhead, Kim's a known slut, slut, so what's Haley going to be when she grows that? up? That was the only good thing that they spit out from the entire camp. Clap, and... clap, clap back was okay. I could, you know what I mean? Yeah, but there there was nothing in there like the like the rest of the shit. Like what M and 50 and Banks and Buck and all those motherfuckers, even Obi, Dre. Holy fuck. fuck. Back, back if down. Tupac could see the shit now, he'd be whooping your ass. Like I, I put back down up there with fucking hit him up and who shot you. Yeah, but most people say who shot you wasn't a diss track. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, it's... it's... As it is publicly accepted right now, right? Like, if you're gonna get somebody, like, I know that I know the story that it wasn't supposed to be about Tupac, or it's not about Tupac, right? Because I know a lot about hip hop and I've looked into that kind of shit, right? Yeah. But for a person that's not that deep into it, for a person that was just around Beyond the surface, the, yeah, right? They they know hit him up and they know who shot you and they think that these things are going against each other, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if we're gonna consider it as a public opinion and whatever, back down, it, back down was dope for damn sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't put uh, I wouldn't put kill shot in there. No, because it's a completely different thing, right? Like exactly. Same, same with no vaseline. I mean, it no was, vaseline. Is... It was back then, but like, see, no vaseline would fit in a category with kill shot because it's like raw. I hate how much you're right. You uh, know what I mean? But the, like, the, the, like commercially, or, like wide accepted but no, no pop. Vaseline was. <sighs> yeah, but there's no way you're gonna listen to no vaseline. I mean, I could see back down playing on radio. It would have to be what? cut to shit. What? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what no, radio? I mean, I mean, was hit him up ever, ever on the radio? It was right. There was a, uh, I think there was a video for it. There is a video for it. What do you mean? You yeah, think? Yeah, I know there's a video. a video to it. The whole fucking, uh, what do you call them? The shit was like, it wasn't on radio around here when it 
came out obviously this is we're talking what fucking 14 years ago i thought it, i thought it was no, popping on the radio that, 24 eh? years ago sorry but i mean it's fucking. more of a it's it's i don't know how to explain it right they, but they it, the thing about hit em up is fucking it had a chorus and stuff and that's what i'm saying it's more it's more structured like a mainstream song yeah, yeah, right yeah no vaseline and fucking kill shot, kill shot is it's not just that's for rappers it's a kill shot that's for rappers that's yeah, for somebody yeah. who appreciates the lyrics and the flow and all that shit like you know what i mean yeah um but yeah, the, 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 these like even the, even Heat by Fifty Two, right? Like if, if we're talking still about what the shit, what, what came out of that shit between them. The DA can play this motherfucking tape in court. <laughs> I'll kill you. Um, it's still not this. I still, I wouldn't put it in that category, right? But like, if you're talking about the most noticeable disses, you know what I mean? The most like publicly spread, I would think that hit him Blackdown up. had some fucking harsh lines in it too. Yeah, so Huchache and b- b- fucking hit him up did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, yeah. but. Um, well, like I said, you know, who shot is apparently not directed towards Tupac. You hit him up, definitely did. But, it's uh, just a, it's, it's just a regular gangster song, right? And it came out at that time, and then just might as well use it, right? Or that's how the public took it. I'm not sure which way it turned it, out, but it's back down that he says about the fucking your mommy, your pappy, d- that bitch you chasing, yeah, dirty ass kid, I'll fucking, fucking erase, erase him. Oh, success is not enough. You want to be hard, but you get knocked, you get fucked in the yard. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, man, it's. It's just it, the the whole vibe of it too, like the it just it feels evil. It's that it's that Dre. It's got to be a Dre beat, right? I don't know, but then you never know, it. right? I, I, like I said, I thought still Dre was a Dre beat, but um, yeah, no shit. <laughs> um, see, I'm not sure if if Scott Storch only did the piano because he's the piano man, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if he just did the piano or the whole beat, but the the thing 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 things definitely mm. Scott Storch, mm. definitely 100. percent You know, and I don't mm. know, if, I don't know if Dre painted all over it. Uh, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Took, took that sample and just put the fucking <laughs> filled in the holes. Yeah, right. But yeah, that sounds. Oh, yeah, hit them up. No Vaseline. Those are usually at the the top of people's lists. But you can't be like, you know what I'm saying? How many? How many? You have to be a hip hop fan to know No Vaseline. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't mainstream back then or nothing. You know what I mean? And people that are not hardcore hip hop fans will know hit them up. Will know. I don't know. Then we'll know who shot you, but they'll probably know the back down. Do rappers even diss each other anymore? I don't know. Well, like, Drake was know. the last one, right? I guess Drake and Pusha. I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake and Pusha, yeah, Drake yeah, and Mill. They're, they're like fucking... Talking about Pusha, that's one of the fucking greatest disses ever, too. That's a nice I think one. So. That's Anyways, a nice in my opinion. one. Drug dealing aside, ghost writing aside, let's have a heart-to-heart about your pride. Yeah. That's that's how you start off a diss track. Talking about that, Pusha might do good in the battle rap. I don't know if he'll do good in battle. He's good on wax. But he wrote the shit. He yeah. he gave the emotion it's to a it. Different thing, no. We, How is that a different we, thing? Man? We've had this argument fucking so many. times. I've recorded and I've been on stage, and I'm telling you, it's not. I don't know. In my opinion, it's not that different. It might be very different for a battle rapper to cross over to me to, to 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 making songs, but for somebody who's making songs and already knows, already trained himself to um, give out that emotion for each bar, you know what I mean, and the control of the voice and all that. It's it's a different craft, though. How's that a different craft? It's rhyming words shit on somebody. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, if, what if what if Pusha took the the, the, the verses of uh, Exodus or whatever it was, right? Exodus or whatever Exodus, it was. Exodus, Exodus, and came out and just spit it without the fucking beat on the stage. It wouldn't be the same. You know what it'd be? It'd be cannabis versus disaster. Nah, I don't think you so. could tell cannabis wrote that shit like a song. I haven't watched that. I, I, I can't watch Disaster. Man. I'm sorry. I just, I, like, you know what I mean. It's good and all that. I understand. I appreciate it and I respect it. But it's just, I don't know. Yeah, Disaster crippled him. Well, he crippled himself. But that's um. Uh, you got thirty pages of rhymes here. We're not, yeah. Oh, fuck, uh, I'll take him home. You know, we're not. We're not even going to bring the Cassidy into this discussion because there's no point. It's a complete other discussion where people are shitting on him for things that are outside of. Um, critiquing or going over his actual battle skills in these recent battles cast he's been in. So, like... Um, he's the one that actually crossed through. He was a battle rapper before, right? Wasn't he? Apparently, he was 5,000 and all. Well, yeah, fucking 6,000 and fucking three, but the fucking... Yeah, uh, it's like the cab driver fought Don Fry in the early UFC. He was 600 and oh in street fights. Well, and then he fought Don Fry. Make Kimbo look like a fucking... 601. <laughs> <laughs> Or uh, yeah, six hundred one. Apparently, he's the one that crossed over, right? As far as I understand his story, or was it that he was a rapper and then he just battled freeway out of fucking blue? Jay he battled DMX on a fucking pool table or across from a pool table. Big L filmed it for fuck's sake. Like I know, and fucking uh, what's his face? Um, 
the Dame Dash was saying, I'm so sorry we don't have that tape. We're going to make millions yeah. of it. Big, Big L fucking recorded it, apparently. Big L is the one that had like the, like, the handy cam with the VHS. So what the fuck is the tape? I don't know. Ask Big L. Yeah, right. No shit, eh? And imagine, too, fucking... Well, first of all, you're Big L, so you already have a career. You're not planning on getting fucking murked in the next couple years, right? No shit. So, to you, you, you like... You're in this fucking realm already, so you're just filming these guys battling. It's, it's at that point, and to Big L, it's not GZ versus DMX. Were they popping back then or no? No, 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 no. This, no. Is, this is underground? Yeah, this is like before they were. Was Big, Big L popping? Big L was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting well, to bubble, so, uh, starting uh, to bubble. Obviously, they're promising something, like promising candidates, right? But you, fucking... you know what I mean? Yeah, you're just fucking having fun recording something. You toss the VHS in the fucking closet. Who gives a shit? It ends up wherever, maybe in the garbage. Then you get fucking murdered, and yeah, now we're fuck. never going to fucking see it. Yeah, you know it, I mean? it would be interesting, but that's what I'm saying. It's, uh, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. As a, like, like you were telling me that it's you can speak English. Why can't you rap in English, right? If you can rap a fucking song, you should be able to rap, rap a fucking battle rap. Nah. It might not be, you know what I'm saying? Not, not everybody will do it good, but you should be able to do it. Nah. What do you mean no? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't know, man. I've recorded it's a the, bunch of diss songs, and I'm pretty sure I could do it. It's the, I think I would be able to do it. It's the fucking age-old question. Like, why can't battlers make good music for the most part? I don't know about battlers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about the backwards. why can't rappers battle? A rapper that's, most that part. recorded over 100 songs that knows how to control his voice, his emotions, and all that, I cannot see how is it difficult for him. It would be difficult. Like, 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 look, the shit that I'm making in English now, right? I've only made a couple songs, but they sound decent, right? At, mm-hmm. le- at least decent. And this is something I'm crossing over. So it would be the same struggle. Okay. First two, three, ten would be, would be shitty probably, or at, so, least, at least mediocre, here, and then we'd just pick up. Here would be problem number one. Pick up a, a rapper... That you think would do good crossing over, like you've said, Banks before. You've said so. Just I think Banks it. would do good. I think push him. I think push. Okay, let's go with push it because we've we've had this argument with Banks before many times. So let's let's start with push it. It's it's a, it's a fresh argument for us. <laughs> um, I'm not that big of push it though. I don't know like that that much about him, but you know enough that you went and said that you think he could do all right. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, he's push it. Who are you going to put him against? Actually, before no, that, no, no, what, it's not even stage? that. You, you got you to gotta drop the names and shit. If we're just talking about the skill, right? You can't, because if you talk about the fucking names and, and, and the, and the okay. money that they got, you're not going to pay enough to nobody to fucking battle. How okay. much did Banks want? 30,000, 50,000 or some shit he said? Something ridiculous. I forget what that was now. Jada wanted something nuts J- J- too. Jada said 200,000, I'll battle. Jada wanted something nuts too. He said 200,000, I'll battle the whole label. He said, bring everybody, bring every motherfucker on your label. You here. don't want that, Jada. It'll be a bad day for you. Right, but. Um, um, I'm not sure. See, I don't, I'm not sure how Jadakiss would do in the battle realm. Okay, but let's stick with 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 push. Push, okay. Right. So, first of all, we have to look at what league. It's gonna have to be URL. Yeah, it's a lot of guns and drugs. For it's sure. gonna have to be URL. Can't be KOV. Can't be. I mean, it could be premiered. anything, but don't flop or RB RB possibly. Fuck yeah, let's give it RB. So, um, so that's the stage now. Who's his opponent? You know what I mean? You can't just... It can't be like, here, we're going to give you a warm-up. No, it would have to be somebody good, but not somebody at the top five, say, right? I well, would say... Who else is it going to be? I mean, I don't know. Let's say the, who, out of the people that I know, right? That I... That actually, okay, yeah, okay. You know, just just because... Yeah, you know, as well-versed on who's... They, they cross stages all the time, obviously. But there's certain people that are... Somebody looks at Tay Rock, they think URL. Somebody looks at Sharon, they think KOTD. Or Pat, they think KOTD, right? So Yes, yeah, I, I don't know how to separate and all that. I'm just thinking about There really people. is no separation. It's just kind of public. That's what I'm saying. So I wouldn't have him battling Sharon or Peste at first. At, as the first one. That, those people would be a nightmare for him. I think those would be the I worst mean. It's not, he, it, it, would be, it would be somebody that he, need, he needs to feel the ground, right? It would have right? to be like a Tay Rock, a shotgun shoot. And then again, like I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure he's intelligent and smart enough to not come out there fresh for his first battle ever like that he's gonna go and battle some friends or some shit somewhere mm-hmm. you know what i mean he's gonna yeah. get the feel of it like he's got to right as a professional you like if you've, you've never done battle rap right you yeah. try to like you know what i mean somewhere where there's no cameras and shit and you just you know what i mean so but you can't give him a warm-up battle because it's the, not a warm-up battle it's not gonna be a warm-up battle for him because he's, he's crossing so. over and this guy's 
not as good as top five, right? So I don't know who the fuck it would be because I don't know. I only know the top five. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? Yeah, ex- that's exactly it. Like, like somebody who's good, who's almost there, but not quite. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to say. But, but definitely no Il Mac, no Pet Stay, no fucking Sharon. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That could be like a two, the dog two, or two, some shit. Fucking two or three, no. you know what I mean? Battle two or three if he does well. Could be, you know what I mean? Could be one of those dudes. That's the, that's but then again, I would say he needs to go to the ropes. That's the. That's what I was gonna say. The biggest problem is right. Start at the fucking bottom. You gotta go through the ropes and fucking. You can't put him at the bottom. I mean, you could fucking. Because picture if he gets fucking buried by a bottom tier fucking battler. No, he can't be. I don't that's know, not I, a good look either. Who's the like the um? Who's the who's the guy that's almost there? There's got to be a guy that's almost there. That's good, but I'm not fucking like. Or at least not as not not as entitled, not as famous. You know what I mean? Not as. There's some I can think of off the top of my head, but where where it comes into is the the fame part of it. Not even the fame part, saying. but being more. Are well we known. talking about are we talking about a skill? Of, like, that's what I mean. A, a person who spends that much time in a studio, who learned how to control his voice and emotions to, to you know what I mean? Because in the same day, he could be recording a song about somebody dying in, in a party, mm. easily, right? So he's got to be able to switch moods, right? He's got to be able to be. Oh, in the, the first, fucking song. The first thing, whether it's Pusha T or any other mainstream rap, industry rapper, I'll say, the first thing they'd have to do is take fucking two, three months off, study, write, rewrite, run things past their friends. Like, don't fucking be making music while well, you're doing this shit. Why not? Make your fucking shit. Just do, do, do this thing after. Just do this thing when you, you know what I mean? When you're smoking blunts with your friends. I'm sure you know what I mean. I don't know. That's what I would do. They'll get crippled. They'll get crippled almost every fucking time. We haven't seen a, an industry rapper crossover yet. King Lowe's did all right. Because there's but... no point for them to cross over. It's not well, that, that they can't oh, do it. It's there's no point, right? Like who, who the fuck's oh, gonna both. pay them? I don't know. Both. I don't know about both. But I mean, you see, listen like... to fucking Vinnie Paz's songs. The whole fucking thing is a punchline after punchline. It's dissing somebody who's not there. But yeah, but Vinnie's like you said, considered underground, not industry. Yeah, yeah, I guess Vinny Vinny's right. pretty much battling over fucking beats. Yeah, he's angry at everyone. He's yelling at Jesus and shit. Yeah, well, fuck. But yeah, the Kanye kind of shit, fuck faggots, old skeezers. <laughs> the uh, the total slaughter definitely did not encourage industry rappers. Listen, when we're talking about fucking somebody crossing over, we should not be talking about buttons. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying that you did know what I'm not saying? encourage that any was a fucking stupid industry rappers. fucking choice from the get go. Mm. If you're gonna put somebody at a slaughterhouse in there, it's gotta be a fucking five nine or a fucking uh, crooked eye. And why do you think they didn't do it? Or fucking actually any of them except for buttons. Yeah, uh, Joel. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Joel's Joel's in the DJ who the fuck DJ Quick One or Sus One? I think it's DJ Sus One. Joel's verse is pretty much a battle ba- battle rap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like I'm soft. I'm softer than my, my sister Titties. That's what competitors say when they gotta go against me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's fucking. The... Yeah, it, but even Royce admits. He's admitted many a times that it's a different see, thing Royce, nowadays. Royce, Royce is not Royce. I could see. I couldn't. See, I could not see Royce battle rapper. And just like I can't see fucking Immortal Technique battle rapper. Immortal Bo- battle rap. And how did that go? Well, he really? was around in like the freestyle with beat days. I'm pretty sure. See, like I don't off know. the top. I would I'm think. I would sure. think he'd be fucking monotone and too deep for you know what I mean. It was a different time. I guess. Right. It was a different time. Um, I just don't see it. Immortal being that. See, like it's it, fucking, entertaining, and you know what I mean, like giving you, yeah, like diabolic. Fucking, on the other hand, diabolic, he could do well. I think he would do well, yes, because because of the punchline, because he's not saying shit, but it sounds so good. See, it's the theatrics of it that come into it too, like. Fucking, oh yeah, man, and that's what I'm saying. I think diabolic would do very well, and see, he's this huge as Pat State too. He's a fucking big motherfucker. Yeah, he's a big dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'd be he'd be making motherfuckers look small and just picking at him. But uh-huh. he's a lot more aggressive than fucking Pat State, you know what I mean? There would be so much anger. It's like, I don't even know what to compare him to. Vinny Paz. It's like Vinny Paz Light. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as the battle rappers you know, who would you put Diabolic against? The people that I know? The battle rappers you're familiar with. Oh, bro, it would have to be somebody who rhymes like really tight. That was, who's like... Disaster. Because if... I, I, I haven't listened to that much of Disaster. I would probably say like Ilmac or something. That would be a good go. Ilmac versus Diabolic? I think so. Because the way Diabolic rhymes, like Pet State wouldn't stand up to it. There's no way. What? I don't think that. I don't. What? I, this is my opinion, right? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the, the, I mean, I'm talking about the actual patterns and the complexity of it. I'm talking battle. If, if Diabolic is like, you know what, I'm going to do a one-off battle just for fucking fun. And Diabolic is somebody who could actually do it because he's not a fucking multimillionaire. You know what I mean? Yes. If, if he's got one, then fucking good mm. for him, right? So I could see Diabolic battling for 10 grand or whatever the fuck they do there, you know? Five and grand, whatever. I'd like to see him battle, though. Ilmax? That's what I'm saying. Somebody you like you wouldn't Il- want to see, like you were saying, he's such an uh, or Il- aggressive. Il- or you know what? Maybe Nems or fucking. Uh, oh fuck that! Would, that would be. What? Yeah. Th- that would be pretty similar. That would be pretty similar style. Nems a little more calmer. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm like fucking that. I'm sh- they've probably battled each other many a times. I don't know because Diabolic is not. He's not from like outside of New York. I think right. He's not from actual New York. We're watching the premiere video earlier. Diabol Dimes is in the fucking video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 That's no. That's what I mean. Yeah, so, I guess yeah, so obviously they probably know each other. They've thrown right. spears at each other a few times. I mean, if if Nems is making an album with an ill build, then fucking for sure they know each other, right? <laughs> that, that, that diabolic and fucking Nems. But uh, mm. Nems would be something similar, you know what I mean? Uh, Head Ice would be something That's similar. That's what I was just going to say. What about Ice versus Diabolic? That would be good. That'd be fun. But I think, I think, I think, I think I, see, it would be like, wah, 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 and then Head Ice would come out with something to just calmer. Uh, yeah. Shit, and then again, wah, 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 wah. Right? Fucking, that would be a good fucking, you know what I mean? I would not want to see him battle on somebody like Sharon, that's for sure. No, you know what I mean? No, no, you, no. Maybe fucking, what's that uh, guy named that um, you told me he's got cut with fucking. Big guy? No, no, no. He got cut with the. Um, Human trafficking, all kinds of shit. Oh, Sirius Jones. Sirius Jones could be a good match for allegedly. Diabolic. Well, I'm, not, I'm just yeah. was trying to remember the name, right? Allegedly, um, like you know what I'm saying. There's certain people that I think could cross over. You know, like I would not, as much as I loved young, loved young Buck and his music. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would not want to see Young Buck battle rap. I think you just get no, fucking torn no. apart. You God, know what no. I mean? It's not gonna work. No. On a diss song, yes, th- that's a perfect example. Young Buck can make a diss song, but I can't see Young Buck battle rapping. No. No, God no. You know what I mean? And fucking Diabolic, I could see very well battling. I could see Diabolic battling better than fucking Banks. I mean, just the actual... See, yeah. there you go. That's that's kind of like a fun battle to set up, Diabolic versus Banks. Because it's contrast style. Ooh, I don't know. I, fucking... I don't think so, man. I don't know. I, I, in, my, in my opinion, I think Diabolic would tear him apart. That's fine. But you know what I mean? I just, because I Bank, think Banks is more of a fair fight. See, the head ice is more... Professional into battle realm, the way he went on that fucking accountant dude, remember, in the fucking uh, bunker or whatever. The fucking uh, Carter Deems, right? The, the way that the head ice went at him mm-hmm. was a good angle, right? Mm-hmm. And I think if Banks would have went at that ball, it would have been still the same shit. It would have st- still been fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Guns, bricks, and do. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But Let's see, I don't. Uh, not just Banks. You need Pretty some. Much any you, industry you, need, rapper, you need somebody who like I don't know. It's especially about diabolic like I don't know I'm so much of a, I, I admire his writing skills so much and that's what I'm saying not in, not as much as in the point that he's saying right yeah because in, if you look at the whole verse in total depends on certain songs right but he's got songs that make sense obviously but if you look at the certain verse shit he's just letting off rhymes like like rep- represents right yeah, like he's yeah. like I uh, uh, slash your throat for a pack of smokes if my ass is broke yeah yeah right <laughs> he's not he's not there's really no message into he's it he's not right? giving you no fucking but he's just one, shit one questions. after another one after another each fucking bar is a punchline you know mm-hmm. what I mean it's a fucking like it's it's intense and the, the, what is it? Slamming whores, knocking more, knocking more than a Jeho- Jehovah Witness at your door. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's like one after another after another, and uh, I really, really admire how he puts words together. Really, like it's it's so thick. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times you listen to music and it's the, the last two words that are rhyme on each line, right? Mm-hmm. They go like that, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you get one in the middle. This motherfucker goes like one, two, three, two, two, four. You know what I mean? It's all like it's like mm-hmm. a puzzle. You know what I mean? You listen to it, you're like, what the... F-? You know what I mean? Like, to me... Like, I get exactly what you're, uh, what you're saying. I don't know what you'd call that rhyming pattern, but I get it. Is. It is. It's, it's the thickness it's, of it, right? Like, it's, it's... it's Because that's what I'm saying. It would have to be somebody like El Mac or somebody, you know what I mean? To, to battle Diabolic. Oh, El Mac would cripple him. I don't know. El Mac would cripple him. Damn near anyone. I mean, on the right day. But then obviously. again, maybe, maybe Pat Stay and Diabolic could be a good match because they could both talk shit about nothing. Mm, Pat would clown him, I think. That's what I mean. And Diabolic's right. a little more aggressive. I don't know. And where you get to that. But status. Diabolic was talking about battling fucking Talib and Mortal Technique like he does on a fucking regular basis. So mm. I'm thinking the battle some, somewhere, which when you said Nems and Diabolic probably battled, probably did. Oh, I guarantee you. you in a basement I mean? somewhere? Yeah. Some yeah. alcohol in them? 
That's what I'm saying. They, they threw spears back and forth at each other, just taking fucking jabs at each other. Why wouldn't they? It sharpens their sword, right? It's fucking... And Nems comes from that. Like, That's what I mean. If Nems, if Nems crossed over, um, Il Mac makes pretty good songs. I don't know. Why, do, why is he not popping? I think he should be popping more than he is with, with his songs. Yeah, it's... Uh, the other Those dude guys that's, a, that's in the fucking jacuzzi in the sweater, that was a pretty decent song. New Jersey Twerk. Yeah, yeah. He's got I, some I, I songs, though. I, I don't know. His, but the... Yeah, no. Some uh, Dirtbag Dance made some decent songs. Um, dumbfounded. I mean, there ain't going to be no fucking super mainstream rappers, but they should be able to make some hardcore shit. I cannot see how Battle Rapper cannot make a fucking represent song where you just talk shit. They try. A lot of them. Huh? It's just... Well, you know what? They can put together something. I'm not trying to shit on Battle Rap so they can't make any music. None of them I think can. the problem there is that the... Uh, sorry, what were you saying? The, 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 what I was going to say is they don't... They, the, they know how to put together like a four-bar rhyme scheme they, they, they rhyme with a punchline. They rhyme to, their, to the shit in their head. Yeah. They don't, you know what I mean? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, right? And it, it, there's no flow to it. But like I said, you know, Dirtbag Dan, Ilmac makes fucking great music. That's what I'm saying. I think he should be popping a lot more than he is. You know what I mean? With like actual music, music. Yeah, his music's great. It always has been, even back when he was with um, Sand People. Well, you should just show me a ten year old song or some shit. I thought it was fucking yesterday. Yeah, Sovereign Airspace. I think it was. Um, it was a good song. I liked it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know why is it. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it just because. I mean, I would do it if somebody paid me. I would fucking do anything. Battle someone. Yeah, but uh, acapella. Yeah, in English. Oh fuck! It would take me a while. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I would. I, I, I would do it if somebody paid me or some shit. But uh, I'm just not interested in it. I'd rather make a song. That's fair, and I'm you know sure other saying? artists feel the same way too. When people but if, come to them and say, "Hey, if the, why don't you if battle?" The question, if the question came up to a point where fuck, oh, you can't do it, I would do it. Mm. Just to prove a point that I do it. And I'm not I, saying I would be great, but I would definitely be fucking above average. <laughs> I would think. Just for fun here, out of the the major leagues, what league would you want to be on I have no idea about them man I only know the fucking QOTD and URL right like it, yeah, yeah RBE you've watched lots of RBE I, I don't know how to tell the difference I know you don't right so I don't <laughs> unless it's organic that's a <laughs> right that's how it, that's, I, I don't know it's obviously funny. I would want to be in the Canadian one probably right if I actually went, went hard well Versus applies to this too oh yeah I guess if you wrap it in English we wouldn't be using yeah Versus. it wouldn't be applied to Versus it wouldn't be a... I'd go to Versus and I'm pretty sure I'd do alright so, all so. of the rappers in Versus are frappers all like of them make songs. They were they were battle rappers in terms of making songs, mm-hmm. battle songs, and then they crossed over. Because I've, I've battled like a lot of the motherfuckers that are on Versus. Yeah, Versus is the biggest one over there, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, it's the only one I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not. I, I haven't looked into it because, it's, like I said, I'm not that. Yeah, into yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Casual. Fan. I know that uh, Versus is a, like ninety percent of the motherfuckers were either mainstream rappers or underground rappers. And some of them are battle rappers, but battle rappers in terms that they were making songs. And they crest over the acapella. And Oxy was on... Oxy was a battle rapper that was making songs. But he was That's on why versus? he got slapped around by the other dude, because he was making fucking bad songs. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? You start talking about somebody's mother, they get a little real. And he was on Versus? Yes, yes. He so was, he was on Versus. He, he came out and he murdered some mainstream motherfuckers because they were not ready to make shit like that. You oh, know yeah? I mean? oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. We, that's, that, that's how I started, too, right? We, we'd make, at some point when I was really into it, I would make two, three songs a week. Two, two, two three different battles. Holy fuck. Right? Like, different topics, different beats, right? It's fucking two, mm-hmm. two, two, two three complete so songs. So, battling over a beat? Yes, but it's like, they give you a topic. You know your opponent because this is like that shit, right? Everybody's fucking seeing each other on the internet, this and that, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So you know your opponent, uh, you know the topic, and fucking off you go. Are there? Is there anything that's off limits? Nothing's off limits. Nothing's off. What about? Well, uh, now, now we know that fucking distant buddy's mom is off limits. What about? <laughs> what about uh, crowd wise? Like, does will the crowd be like, oh, that was that was dirty, that was cheap, that was low? Like I haven't, his, uh, I haven't, well, that, that's the shit that was, oh, the Doxy fucked up on him and another dude, they, that's what they came out on, saying dirty shit, saying dirty shit about parents, shit like that, and that, and, and that just got stopped like that, right, mm. people were very against it, but they sounded good, the shit mm. they were saying was fall, like fall, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. really, really fall, and even Oxy came out after that with the video, he's saying fucking, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be an artist, I'm not gonna say shit like that again, it was, it was out of hand, out, out of line what I said, right, yeah. and it's true. Is he respected over there as a battler? 
Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I know he's respected as a, like a mainstream artist, but so. he came from battling, right? And that's what I'm saying. When he came, when he came to versus battling the dudes that are just rappers, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. mainstream rappers, oh, a lot of them got fucking bad ones, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking mm-hmm. bad ones, because they were just gonna come out and say, "Well, you fucking sound stupid, look stupid, or some shit." This motherfucker picked their life apart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fucking, they gave him fucking good ones. I haven't. That's what I mean. I'm I not, know you're I'm, not a huge Oxy fan. I'm not. Means, I'm not. But like, I'm, I'm not hating either. Like, he's, yeah, that's he's, what I'm saying. You're, uh, you're not a huge Oxy fan, but like, you can. So I haven't really watched his battles but I've, I've flipped through some of them but you, you know he, what I mean and he like, can do it yeah definitely definitely. and that's what I mean I don't see the I don't see the problem between I don't see the problem with these motherfuckers because Oxy went from rapping over beat to acapella see that, and that's what I'm saying rapping over beat to acapella should be an easy easier switch rapping acapella to the beat would be a harder switch because it's not in your head anymore there's a certain pattern that you have to keep up. There's a certain, you know what I mean? Music in the background, beat. What about off the top? I don't know about off the top much, man. But even Snoop said that we're fucking, we're all great rappers when we sit down and write down shit, but, but when we freestyle. No, that's why I'm asking you, like, off the top, like, in your opinion, what like, I'm... off the top freestyle, off the top of the fucking head, in a Ooh. battle, no written, don't know who your opponent is. What would you say? That's, but that, so would that be the hardest? For who? Again. For the rapper. But I mean, there's battle rappers and there's rappers rappers, right? Whoever I'm talking, talking battle rapping off the top. And the battle rappers doing it. Battle, battle rappers, yes. No, because you know what I mean? If you're going to take a fucking, if you're going to take Banks and tell him to freestyle on a battle stage. No, right? no, 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 no. I'm, fucking... I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking fucking Sharon versus fucking Bangs type shit. Like fucking off the top. The guys who really do this shit, right? Like fucking that, that kind of shit. That off the top. Is well, that what you think would... Is that probably the hardest to do well? Obviously, yes. Because obviously, yeah. Because Sh- Sharon is like the animality, right? And that fucking oh yeah, yeah. This sticks out, right? So fucking DNA does it well. DNA does it very well, yes. Right, and that's yes. about it. Because even even in look Bangs at these, is in, another one. There's... And, and look at these guys. These are like as battle rappers. These are motherfuckers that write that, that rhyme words a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah a yeah, lot, yeah, right? Yeah. Like when I was, like I said, when I was making three songs a week or some shit, I could probably freestyle. Yeah, I don't know about battle rap, but I could freestyle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it, it would just be keep it because you're in so much practice, right? Mm-hmm. And it would still not be good. It would be decent, right? But it would not be good. So I don't even see the point of that shit. So yeah, so to if be able to free, do it and if, do if it you well. Freestyle, if you freestyle off the top, I can see you being in a room with a bunch of guys around you or whatever the fuck, a bunch of people house around party. you. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and you, and you, well, you're not even a house party, whatever the fuck it is. But if you're freestyling, I can see it being fun and entertaining when you mention in a bunch of people, the room, the venue, whatever the fuck it is, right? But when you're going to come out and off the top fucking battle somebody, I think that's going to be a fucking mess. Yeah, that's what I like about the evolution of uh, battle rap because it, at one point, it was fucking... off the top over a beat. It was a lot of, yo, check it, check who, it, yo, check it, saying, check who it. The, who the fuck ever did good on that? Thesaurus, Elmac, um, very few. No can do. You don't think those were sub, 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 the, 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 the fours or eight bars fucking things weren't prepared? No, they weren't. Um, they obviously they've all and, admitted and, they, and you, good. you got you got a couple in your back pocket. Uh, Iron Solomon, fucking, he, he one of the uh, battles he was in off the top over a beat. You could com- clearly fucking tell it was all written, like clearly there was it was so fucking polished. Um, it was undeniable, right? Like there's no way you can come up with that off the top of your fucking head. And as good as it was, it still not as fun as today. I like the fucking that the uh, that's what I mean. They you're, say, you're, say, you're saying they did good or Ilmac or whoever else, mm, right? Did there's good. a few people that did well. What we did well is in terms of you could put it on and listen to it. Fuck no, uh, that's fuck no, no, right? So and then if they would have had <laughs> if, if they would have had that beat beforehand and wrote something to it, even without hooks or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? It would be a lot more entertaining. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like where that, I like the where battle rap is going. I just that's what I, was I don't say. fucking understand how they don't judge shit. I really don't get that. Or how the the battle that's, that we watched today, the judges fucking five minutes after the battle, he's sitting there and fucking giving out his marks. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Why not? You gonna judge him, bro? Listen, like I told you, we come from this shit where we make songs, right? So each song. Let's say you have three or five judges because it has to be odd number, right? Three, five judges, fucking nine judges. Depends how big the fucking mm-hmm. thing is, right? Each of the judges will have a week 
to judge the shit, right? Because there's a bunch of songs he has to go through, right? And each of the judges will give you three marks. One would be for the overall, how the, how he thinks the, the song sounds. One would be for the performance, and one would be for the lyrics. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you get mm-hmm. out of five, out of five, and out of three. You know what I'm saying? In each of them, for, like if if there's three, let's say there's five judges, right? And three of them are saying they picked it apart, they actually listened to it, they've listened to the rhymes, you know what I mean? How, how the thickness of the rhymes, how much they make sense. Mm-hmm. There's no fucking way you can do that after just listening to it once. Right there in a the venue especially. No fucking way, bro. For you to catch every fucking good, you know what I mean? Because these people sat at home, fucking wrote these fucking lyrics. Mm-hmm. So there's a bunch of shit you didn't catch. I bet you money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So how can you fucking sit there and say, I think this is the, the, the shit that you showed me is opinionated it's just like oh i think this guy won yeah that's why you're saying that's like little kid why? shit where you're like i you like this I'm guy saying? better that's what i'm saying you're not gonna judge a boxer by the color of his fucking trousers yeah but or whatever again, the shorts like i said right a boxing match is judged end of the match ufc fight end of the fight a boxing match and a ufc fight could be ended right there yeah but what there's if it goes no punchline you can say to end the battle if it goes to a decision three five minute rounds in a ufc cage so you judge the first round or the first okay, round, but the second it, it, round. It's not really round. compatible because that's what I'm saying. They, 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 they count every punch and they don't need to think about how the fucking right hook hit him in the head, what that meant. But what if it was. And what, what if there's a fucking second meaning to that right hook to fucking hit him in the head? What if there was a ton of grappling going on, though? Oh, I was just talking about boxing. Well, no, you, and you have to see, like I said. Okay, like, a lot of grappling going on. None of that grappling makes you fucking think. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there, there could be there could be a fucking four bar. You understand this? There could be a four bar scheme that could fucking just send your mind for a spin. Mm-hmm. How the fuck are you gonna judge that yeah, here's from it. both guys that are actually good? This is a title match for the chain. How are you gonna fucking judge that? You come out with a fucking oh, I think Pets Day won. Get the fuck out of here! Man. <laughs> I'm not saying he didn't. I don't know who won it or nothing. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. how the fuck can you judge that? For so, you, for, for for you to judge that shit, that's what I'm saying. It has to be at least three days that you come back and tell me what you think about that, and not only what you think, why you think that. So do you, do you think like like in um, in boxing or in uh, in MMA, well UFC, not uh, not overseas, but not like uh, in Asia, but here the way the the system works is the ten point must system. So a lot of rounds and ten points for the winner, nine for the loser. Sometimes you get a ten eight. So. Say they employed something like that in battle rap. Do you would, think that like y- you, you can have such an impressive first round that you win ten seven, and no, the other guy wins ten nine ten nine? There's no first round. So there's no second round. I mean, you only get one shot. You only get one so shot. That's a whole the, battle over on. No no no. Look at look. There's a, there's, a, there's a table right. Strong guys meet the big guys at the beginning. Yeah yeah no. I'm asking like. One this like by rounds like fucking do you think that each round one, if, 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 we, if we judge something like that each round would have to have separate marks okay yeah that's what I'm asking yeah, now, it, it, over, it, it, over here the way it goes do you do you think this is a thing that I've thought of before and I don't know if it's the, the right way or wrong way or whatever but or if it would make a difference or cause a hindrance but I've heard other people bring it up too where like like Pat stays first against Sharon that was definitely a 10-8 round like fucking Pat, Pat came in so fucking hard and aggressive. Yeah, and at the right? same time, okay. So, like, what, so, what's your point? so like, can can a first round or any round that's that much better than the other person's round decide? No, it can't because say, you, say because battler, you still got other rounds. Say battler A wins rounds one and three clearly, but battler B. Just destroys this motherfucker still in the lost. second round. He still lost. He lost because he lost the yeah, two rounds. He still lost because if we if we're doing rounds, each round has to be sep- judged separately. So yeah, that's because more like- in your in your in, like I said, is the, the performance overall in the lyrics, right? Um, your your first round could be fucking ten ten three, and your second round could be five four fucking one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That just like you said, you you bombed the two rounds, but you you brought one great. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. That doesn't fucking give you the fucking. You know what I mean? Because this guy did well in the first and the third, and okay in the in the fuck in the second. You just did good in the fucking second, so that doesn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. That would be something that's worth mentioning, right? Like, yeah, they went hard first round up to this guy. Second round, it would be great if this guy came like this in the first and the third too. But he only got the second round, so he loses. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the way it is now. 
like but it cannot uh, be judged on the spot like that man it's, it's especially fucking jz was saying this shit he's like my album dropped fucking uh three or four days ago and these critics have their um what do you call it the when you write about an album, like when you like review, review? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. these motherfuckers have a review up three days after. He's like, I spent fucking six months writing that shit. You think you're gonna have a review in three days? Like, don't be, <laughs> do, you know what I mean? Don't be fucking like, don't be fucking. Yeah, but how many albums have you listened to? And after the first listen, you're like, meh. It's like song three, yeah, but and song you, nine. I like. If you're fucking, yeah. if you're sitting there and writing a review, you should be. You should know what the fuck you're writing about. I agree with you there. Or if you're just gonna throw it on and run through songs and be like, oh, it was okay, then it's gonna be the same shit that they did at KOTD there. <laughs> it's an opinion you know what i mean as a as a as a judge you should you should you should, you should not have an opinion you should judge you know what i mean you should judge a punch you should judge the structure of the fucking lyrics yeah you know what i mean you should judge the performance it should not you know what i mean you can't just put marks there and say these are my marks you put marks in there and then you give a fucking description why you think that is you know what I mean? Like the, the the shit that they did with all the judges at the end of the battle at KOTD after yeah, the uh, uh, after the um, Tat versus the Soros. Yeah, that? after that, all of those judges, the the time that they spent, all of them. You know what I mean? Saying shit, it should only it, it sh- that length should take up maybe a little, maybe three quarters of that length should take up for one judge to speak. <laughs> so you would like to hear more? Yes, more detail. Why? <sighs> Pet State won because he won. That <laughs> fuck you see? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I can show you the the the, the, the marks and the shit that we did with the, with the Russian, like with the, with the song battles, right? Sometimes the descriptions are like this long because the judge really couldn't decide. You know what I mean? Mm. And he puts fucking the same marks in the fucking lyrics and performance, right? And then just changes one point in overall opinion because that's that's the the, 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 the mark that allows you to express your opinion, right? Mm. So at the same time, you could put in. Fucking nine for lyrics, nine for performance, and then zero in overall because you really don't like the fucking song. But he did well in writing lyrics and performing it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this yeah. is so your lyrics and your performance out of 10 is where you're supposed to not fucking have no fucking no, so, no personal opinion. You should just be a professional and listen to how thick the pattern is, how complex the rhymes are, how well are they performed, are they saying anything. That's your mark. No, to it says the five judges, would you... Would it be best, in your opinion, to pick five judges that look for five different things? It should be just, it, in my opinion, it should just be professionals that do this. It doesn't matter what the fuck. As long as you rhyme words. Yeah, they can be professionals. Or, 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 or somebody like a and who listen to music all the time. Yeah, you need to know. You need to know fuck first. Fuck first of all, you need to know what the fuck you listen. What the fuck you judging? Mm-hmm. And second of all, you need to be able to understand it properly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And especially in, in battle rap. But like over here, like fucking, you've came to learn. There's so much history into the battles. Like uh, that's um, what I'm saying. Pat, Pat going at Arcane for getting the the lines from Caustic and paying through PayPal. If you don't know all that, the history of all that, exactly. How the fuck are you even supposed exactly. to judge so that? It has to be a person really involved into this. I, I really think like the way we did it. Uh, the most notorious and the most famous battle rappers ended up judging a lot of shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you could tell right away if he's being fucking professional or if he's being a fucking dickhead and doing an opinion in any fucking mark. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because you can tell, bro. You, there's out of ten, you can't just be. You know what I mean? The, why did you put this guy a ten or a nine? Yeah. You have to explain because this, 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 this. The rhyme patterns. This is this. This was my favorite punchline. You know what I mean? And it's a fucking response. It's like a fucking. It's it's like what do you call those things that they give you at fucking school? It's like a Report project. Card. No, no, no. It's oh, like a project oh, to take oh, home. Oh, 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 to take okay, home, okay, put okay, together, yeah. and bring back. Yeah, yeah. It's not something you fucking judge right away because there's not gonna be no punchline that stops a battle. There's a punch that stops a fucking UFC fight and a fucking boxing fight. There's no punchline that will stop a battle. Do you think there could be, or should be? I think the fucking the the, the, the what do you call it? Um, what's his name? The LL's fucking cannabis. cannabis. Cannabis should not should not, should not have been, out. <laughs> yeah he should, should he should not have been allowed to keep going. What the fuck is the point, bro? Like you already, you know what I mean? Like no disrespect no, that's to point. him, no disrespect to him and all that shit, right? But come on, bro, you've been doing this shit. You think it's gonna look okay if you bust out a fucking book? He's got thirty pages of rhymes in this motherfucker. Fucking take him home and practice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it I don't know. And then shit like um the court papers for the body that snitched. Big K and uh, that should have that that should have been the end of that battle. I don't see what else the fuck you're going to say. That was first round, too. That's what I mean. There's, I, I don't think there should be any elaboration on that. 
No. But then again, I take the shit to literally, right? Like, I, I expect these guys to live up to what they say. That's why there's only p- certain people that I can listen to in mainstream, and they just, you know what I mean? Mm. Because I can't, like, like, I can't listen to Rick Ross. I can admit that he raps well. I can admit that his music sounds well, but I can't listen to it. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's bullshit. Yeah. Like, mm. even, if we, even if we compare, as much as I like 50 Cent and all that shit, Rick Ross is a better rapper than 50 Cent. In terms of flow and all that shit, he is. You know what I mean? I, I think he is. Maybe not by much, but he is. I have enough, to, enough Ross to make that, but based off what I have heard, and I listen to, uh, well, he, not anymore. I don't know if even, Banks music ad, anymore. even Banks admitted that he raps well. What I mean. What, what do you think? Is, is Rick Ross have better songs than 50 Cent? I mean, it depends. I don't like Rick Ross, so I don't really, you know That's what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, I haven't. There's that every day I'm hustling. Before I found out he was a CEO, every day I'm hustling was a fucking, I, I like that shit a lot. Push it to the limit. So that fucking, he did a remake on that. I push and I push, you know what yeah, I mean? I write yeah, and I write. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was all right. But then as soon as I found out he was a CEO, that shit just crushed, right? And I can't listen to it. Yeah. But I, in terms of a rapper, if he would have done some fucking like a Sharon thing, if he would have stuck to his own thing, you know what I mean? Even fucking, I don't know if he should have admitted that he was a CEO, but <laughs> just rapped about something, <laughs> something fucking different. You know what I mean? What's he gonna rap about, though? I don't know, I but mean... look at Drake when he was when he was saying the fucking what is it? Hair pushed back, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. <laughs> that's fucking, you know, that's Drake right there. That's your shit. Stick to it. Mm. Let's not say you make me catch a body like that. That's not, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just not a line that should come out of Drake's mouth. I don't think so anyways. At least not in the way not in the way they portrayed his image already. It's crazy how some legit motherfuckers like uh Facho fucking uh cosign Rick Ross. That fucking you that know what just I mean? that like, really grinds my gears. <laughs> Jay Z. Well Jay the Jay Z thing's money, obviously. But still, man, as a But like fact, I would I would think that Jay Z is an authentic culture. Like he's he's he's, a, he's an important figure in a culture, right? He, I would I would consider him being authentic, trying to push authentic shit, right? He wants so, billions. <laughs> yeah, but what, like, man? You, you want to tell me Jay Z didn't have enough money before he signed Rick Ross? Doesn't matter. Let's take another billion. <laughs> yeah, but um, man, take a half a billion and sign somebody like Pusher. But the, the thing is, too, Jay Z's music uh, was like. Uh, Hustle music, make money, don't go to prison, don't get in problems, don't murder motherfuckers. Like, it's like more so like fucking live that high life by being a hustler. Whereas Fat Joe's music, I'm not talking fucking lean back. I'm talking like what he came up on, like DITC and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking like fucking... And it's, I can't understand that because I really oh. love and respect the way Fat Joe reacted to fucking 6 9 thing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. He he said like, he, he's legit, like a motherfucking dude. Bro, he said he doesn't want to be in the same. He fucking, will cut you. He said he doesn't want to be in the same fucking room with that guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and he was co-signing him all the way before the shit went down. Yep, yeah. and fucking, you know what I mean. It's cool with the CEO though, and that's what I'm saying. I don't get it. And here's the thing too. Okay, it, fucking maybe Rick Ross fucking graduated high school, went to fuck college. He's a hip hop fan. Fucking, he got a career as a correctional officer and then got into hip hop. I'm fucking fine with that. That's what I mean. It's not even the problem. The problem that he denied it. Well, the problem is you take on a fucking, one of the biggest drug dealers of all time. You take on not only his name, his entire persona. Yeah, his whole life. And fucking, you were a correctional officer. Not only that, he, Freeway, Freeway from, he's from New York, right? Philadelphia. Oh, close enough. Fucking um, Freeway contacted Rick Ross. Somehow, whatever the fuck, they worked yeah, it out. Yeah. He, he asked you, Rick Ross, legit Rick Ross, yeah, the real yeah, Rick yeah. Ross, legit told, told Freeway that you can use that name. Yeah. Cause he was, and that's not Rick Ross. That's Freeway. Yeah. That's a nickname. Yep. This motherfucker went and made sure that it's okay with this guy. Yep. And Rick Ross made it, Rick Ross made it way bigger than Freeway ever did. Right? Nori tried to reach out to Manuel Noriega's family to continue using the name Noriega. And since he couldn't get a solid answer, he changed, not changed, but started going with Nori. I didn't know about that, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so just thought like, Nori, I guess, too long. No, 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 no. <laughs> he fucking, he thought it was disrespectful. I'm going to be running around using this guy's fucking. But that's what name. I'm saying. You took his whole fucking life. You've made millions of dollars off it, and you didn't put no money on his books? Yep. No shit. No shit. You've made millions of this motherfucker's doing 20, 25 years, whatever the yep. fuck he did there, or 18, whatever he did. But yep. he was sentenced to over 20. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you're popping. You're making millions, man. You, uh, with the past that you had, you should make sure that motherfucker's not talking shit they, about apparently you. Apparently, they had a conversation, too. Rick Ross was talking about that on uh, Drake They had Chance. a conversation? They, he had a conversation with fucking uh, with fake Rick Ross. And fake Rick Ross told him, like, oh, no, don't worry. I'm going to take care of you. Like, I, I'm going to set you up this, that. Not, like, you know, pay his bills for the rest of his life, but. Take care of me now. I'm in jail. Put money on my books. Yeah, it was when, when, when Rick Ross first got out. Like real Rick Ross. I thought I'm pretty. I'm not like not a hundred percent sure, but I've seen for some reason an image in my head that uh, Rick Ross just got out of jail. He was in a Maybach with fucking uh, Mayweather, and also there was another one when he was in a, in some car with a buddy from Onyx, not Sticky, the uh, Fredro. Fredro Star, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and in one of those, he was saying that uh, th- 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 that's when he mentioned that Freeway came to him, and he mentioned that Rick Ross never even called. There was no conversation with Rick Yeah, he fucking... The on, fake Rick I mean. Yeah, on Drink Champs. It was either Drink Champs or Rogan, but I'm pretty sure it was Drink Champs. He was talking about how he had a conversation with fake Rick Ross. That's probably after he got out. Fake, yeah, it was yeah, right after he got oh, out. Oh, okay, okay. Good. He said that Rick Ross never contacted him. The, the whole bid while he was... Uh, fake Rick Ross was popping. No, 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 no. Real Rick Ross contacted fake Rick Ross. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, now yeah. I get it. And was like, yo, what the... What is all this about? And fake Rick Ross... Pr- like, promise oh, yo, we're gonna, we're gonna work on some stuff. I got some ideas. This that, cool. Like whatever. Like fucking. Yeah, it, because it, the real Rick Ross was trying to go legit, right? He was opening some sort of fucking website, and all, and all of, of a shit. sudden, fucking. So he was he was he was trying to look for somebody to piggyback him a little bit, no, right? No, the fucking no more phone calls. No, like. And that's what I'm saying. What kind of piece of shit are you, Ricky Rose? Acon's out here doing songs with Takashi. Oh fuck! I know you're dying to get that off your fucking chest. <sighs> Oh, buddy, the fucking, uh, <laughs> I just don't know where the fuck they let him fucking live, the meaning they survive in the mainstream and shit. I just don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't get how 50 Cent was saying. I, I understand why he told. I don't get why fucking Akon's making a song with him. And I don't get how motherfuckers still let them live in terms of giving him attention. Nicki Minaj just fucking mess up. You're giving him attention right now. Yeah, because it pisses me off. That's the only reason, yeah. right? But I'm, I like, I would not fucking, uh, I've seen that video that he dropped. I've seen half of it once. I would never fucking go look at it again. Doesn't he have another one with Nicki Minaj? I don't give a fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, he had the one with Nicki Minaj before he went to jail. No, apparently it's a new one. I've seen I mean, Nicki, Nicki is another yeah. fucking thing. I have Aiken is a Aiken is who I, like, I really have a problem. Not, not that I have a problem with Aiken, but with the fucking... Like, you went to jail. You're a felon. This motherfucker told on a bunch of guys. You know what's even worse? Locked up. Part two. Styles P was in the first one. Styles P still ain't changed. <laughs> he like no shit. Like he fucking. See, I, I haven't even thought about disrespecting Styles P because That's I, could, the I, could, I, I couldn't get over. I couldn't get over fucking Akon still. I don't you give know a what I mean? Fuck about Akon. No, but meaning the Akon, Akon's supposed to be a fucking. I don't know if he's still gangster, but fuck man, he's real. They were stealing cars. He did the time for that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So this just, why are you fucking locked up with fucking? T- See, yeah, you want to do a song with that snitch? Go ahead, but you can't do locked up part two, and him fucking in the video. Takashi's rapping about how he fucking he he just wants to get out and get home and see his kid and all this shit. Well, okay, you shouldn't have got involved with those people to begin with. China Mac brought up something I was watching the other day on uh, Vlad. <clears throat> China Mac said fucking. Takashi was 21 or 22 years old or whatever. When he got booked? When he, yeah, and he made this decision. That's not a fucking child. We're not talking about a little kid. Who was saying that he's a child? Well, that's what people have been saying. Like, fucking, you know, he's a kid. Why he got the mixed fuck up is he the, running around telling he grown mixed, men to suck his dick? Mixed up with the wrong crew and this and that. And that's I'm he, saying, why is he running around telling grown men to suck his dick and test his gangster? Putting hits out on people and recording them and, like, all this shit. So you fucking even for me there was like that's how you know hip hop doesn't exist anymore in the, in terms of fucking real shit and if you want to listen to real hip hop you have to go underground you know what I mean I don't yeah, back to the nineties I don't like who, <laughs> who, who's 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 mainstream now like maybe Kevin Gates you know what I mean that's real real that's actually still popping is he oh I guess yeah Kevin Gates is popping he just he, no I was gonna say mainstream but uh, like I hate like I've told you before I hate all those terms mainstream underground this that well in terms of because you can't compare fucking but Kevin Gates and fucking like, as hard as Kevin Gates is you can't compare him to Vinnie Paz it's not the same fucking level you also can't compare him to Jay-Z 
Kevin Gates and Jay Z is closer than Kevin Gates and Vinny Paz in terms of mainstream. Oh really? Okay, I think okay. so for sure. Um, Kevin Gates got songs on radio. What the fuck are you gonna hear Vinny Paz on radio? I don't know what's on radio. I'm just saying it's. Uh, <laughs> If if you're talking about mainstream, we were talking about real, right? I was just saying that hip hop is so fucked up that they live, Rick, they let Rick Ross live after fifty legit. Like one thing is to say some shit, right? Mm-hmm. And another thing to put up, pull out a fucking pay stub. Mm-hmm. There's no this. This is not a lie anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is real. Picture of you wearing a fucking uniform is real. Yeah. And to me, like I understand the jail should exist and police has to be around to a certain extent, right? But to me, watching people that are locked up is like the worst fucking job you can imagine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, locking someone in a cage is the worst thing ever. Well, locking something. someone in a cage is one thing. Another thing is seeing him every fucking day. Yeah. Right? Making sure they stay in the what, cage. Yeah, making sure you do. Like, what? The, the judge knocked his fucking hammer and said, bye, you know what I mean? And he forgot about you. The next one comes in. Yeah. But yeah. you fucking come in there and watch it, like, you know what I mean? Like, fucking um, um, pedophiles, rapists, fucking, like, See, gruesome murderers. See, just no. yeah, I would, I would agree with that, too, but for some reason, they're keeping them alive. But the fucking... Uh, you know what I mean? For you to go watch the regular guys that fucking were trying to fucking feed their family or some shit. You know what I mean? Like on the real, right? Like mm-hmm. that's fucked up to me. So and then come make music and then, off of what those people did to put them in that cage. Like how fake is that, right? And then this motherfucker rats, and then he gets fucking he blows up the YouTube when he comes out. It's fake, man. Everything is fake. You know what I mean? It's not. There's no, I don't know. I mean, being too real could go fucking wrong too, right? Look at Shine. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have fucking boundaries. But uh, I mean, busting a gun off in a fucking club, you should just go do ten years, man. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not even a gang shooting outside. This is a fucking packed club, man. What the fuck are you thinking? Keep it gangster. Yeah, but it's you know what I mean. That's keeping it real. Fucking goes wrong. But um, <laughs> Dave Chappelle said, "But keeping it real goes wrong." I don't but, like people you know messing around I mean? on my but, phone. But fucking, I don't know. I'd listen to Immortal Technique fucking 10 albums, you know what I mean, as, as, as much as I'm not into that, mm. before I listen to any Takashi music. Well, because yeah. I, can't, I can't accept it. They, even. Can't, why, they can't even compare those two. That's not even a no, but I'm fair just thing. No, I'm just saying, I'm, 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 comparing, I'm comparing the sounds that I don't like. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I, yeah, there's yeah. no way I would be sitting there listening to a whole album of Immortal Technique. There's, it's not going to happen. No, there's information overload. But at least Immortal Technique is saying something. He stands for something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But what I'm he saying can is, rap. Fucking! I would rather sit there and try to understand what the mortal's saying than fucking bop my head to fucking well, Takashi's song like ever. Fucking three dictionaries and a fucking thesaurus to understand what the mortal's saying. But you know what I mean? And oh, I get what you're saying completely. You know I what? don't give a fuck what Takashi's saying. Real people, for some anything. fucking reason, are not making it. There are enough, like, same, but I don't know if Diabolic should be main mainstream, but I think he should be on a fucking, who, who was just talking to? But I'm like sure he's Kevin, doing all right. Kevin, Kevin Gates level, I think he should have been somewhere around there, maybe a little that, under. That lane that Diabolic and Vinny and, like, those but guys are But he's not in them in. anymore. That's it. No, but I mean that lane, that lane where, like, Atmosphere is and uh, Brother Ali. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, that, they, they make, Chris Webby is another one, Apathy. They fucking make, Good living, you think so? For sure, for sure. I mean, I know, say, I know, I know. Vinny Paz and the fucking Immortal does, but I don't know how the, the Diabolic would fit into that. Say Diabolic's making, you know, like, and I, I'm lowballing it here. Say he's making 150 grand a year, doing what he loves. That. I don't think he's making that, bro. I really don't think so because um, he was fucking pissed about his album getting pushed. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. he went and pissed the money away, but. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like that that lane, like if you're fucking Yeah, but if you're, if you're making if you're fucking okay, it's not even necessarily him, but that lane, if you're doing well, if, yeah, you're that, making I, a, I, if you're making a if you're making a year, you you know, you're I know I know thing. Vinnie Paz and ICP they're laughing. Oh, ICP for sure. Vinnie Paz is doing very well too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin yeah. he was saying that merch is moving like crazy and yeah. fucking, you know what I mean? Cuz they have a people in Europe would fucking love Vinnie Paz. They have a solid following and the following doesn't drop off. It's what do you call it? It uh, just gets added to um, not manic. What the fuck is it called? Uh, cult following, right? Cult following is it? Yeah, cult following. Cult following when they're yeah. fucking they're yeah, bona fide, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Like, what I'm saying is, people like uh, maybe I don't know. Diabolic. I'm just a fan, right? But I would think he needs to be more popular than he is. I would think that um, who else was out there? I don't think Buck got enough fucking. You know what I mean? I mean, he was there, but I don't think he got enough appreciation. And, and same with same with fucking Kevin Gates too. His first album, yeah, but then he died out. And this motherfucker is just popping. Why? Because he read it on a bunch of people. Yeah. 
And this is supposed to be hip hop we're talking You're about. You're a fucking freak show. That's, that ain't hip hop. Can you imagine that shit in that. early er, early 2000s, late early 90s? 90s? Oh, that wouldn't have. Like late 90s to early 2000s, I mean? I don't know. You'd be in fucking Shug Knight's it's, closet. It's a fucking, like, it's an, oh, what do you call it? Oxy- oxyom or oxy- oxymoron? You know what I mean? It's something that should not exist within the fucking culture that we're talking about hip hop. It definitely should not. No, right, it's like, this is not what the culture was built on. Now the culture is it's not like having also a cannibal built... working in a kitchen as a chef. Like what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not. It's not working right. It's not. You know what I mean? And hip hop culture was also not built off being a fucking gangster and this and that. That's not what I'm saying. But it's fucking the uh, part At of the foundation. The music, he's, the music he's trying to represent is gangster rap, mm-hmm. right? At least before. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck is it now. What were you saying? The, the, the foundation. What? The foundation, like the foundation, like I'm not saying that the foundation of hip hop is built off being a fucking gangster, not snitching and this and that, but it's part of the foundation and it, not even like, it is, the gangster man, and not snitching It's shit. not even it's like, you, oh the, no, man, the shit, the shit about hip hop is Curtis the, Blow, Cool Herc, Run DMC and them, they were not rapping about that shit. Yeah, they were not, but it's a it's a big part of it. But that's what I'm saying. It's part of the foundation. And but then again, you 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 have like you know what I mean. Run DMC. If one of like they weren't gangster rappers, right? No. So if one of them went to court and sold something, okay, the sentences that rap, fine. Yeah, it's one thing, right? Yeah. If Drake would have went to court and sold on somebody, I would not have the same reaction as I'm no, having. No, no, no. But you know if he did. That's what I'm saying. I'd be like, what that the would fuck? blow my fucking mind, right? So this motherfucker, I was just like, I don't like him, whatever. But at least he seems real. When he was, uh, when he was popping, right? Because he was saying he just all this. Seemed like somebody I wanted nothing to do with from the beginning, but but it looked real because Trayvon was behind him, right? So it, it it was real for a second, but then oh, you, your phone, what's your phone? Yeah. Um, it seemed real for a second, and that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking into my music. I look for authenticity. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can agree with Common being Common. I can agree with Drake being Drake. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't don't be a fucking you know. Yeah, don't. don't be talking about busting guns if you never fucking held one. And, you know what I mean? And it's not even well, pretty much that, but it's not that. You know what I mean? It's not that simple. But I just don't understand how do they let the fakes survive? Because as far as I understand, hip hop is supposed to be authentic. No matter what it is, it's supposed to be authentic. Anything I've ever yeah. said or will say, you can check. It might be exaggerating a little, ex- exaggerated yeah. a little bit, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that's fucking part of making things. Making, I'm thinking making about that art, when I'm like, writing it. You know what I mean? Because I could write some crazy shit. Biggie has story songs. Um, well, story songs is one thing. We're talking about like, represents when you're talking about yourself. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm saying, like uh, he has different story songs that obviously he's just telling a story. He has different represent songs, like you said. Um, I represent or, songs should represent you, or even. Uh, Something like uh, "Juicy" by Biggie, like it. It's all about like you know his his come up, but it's not like every single word in that is true. Obviously, no, right? That's, and that's fine. Now that but exactly, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. If, but if, at least eighty percent of your shit is real. Living on an because entire... if you if you listen to Jay Z or Fifty Cent, they fucking murdered at least one hundred fifty motherfuckers each. Oh, at least you know what I mean per album. It, oh, at least right. So. It's you gotta t- per album, <laughs> right? It's fucking uh, obviously there's some exaggeration, but when you completely fake like Rick Ross and Six Nine, I don't know how the fuck they survive in a culture yeah. that that's yeah. supposed to be based on real shit. Yeah. You're supposed to be real. Yep. They even look down on people that switch producers and shit because now you're changing all, all, all authenticity and you know you know what I mean. Yep. I don't know, man. I really don't. That really fucking drives me crazy. Grinds your gears? Yeah, man. And fucking the thing is, I, I, it, it feels and looks like the uh, uh, people that run, <coughs> people that run men- mainstream and the labels, people that give light to these motherfuckers, mm-hmm. they purposely doing it to make people stupider. They purposely doing it to push agenda. Of fucking There's an agenda for sure. You know what I mean? Because whether it be... I guess Joyner made it. He's one of the fucking... He's one of the... That the doesn't uphold image mm-hmm. and being jo- real. Jo- Joyner... Made it on our radar because uh, because Eminem gave him like that kamikaze. But he had, I mean, a lot of the shit. That I, I actually, like I've heard of not. A, I've seen not, not a racist before Eminem. Shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. But, but that he's not in the video, so I didn't know who the fuck he is. That shit didn't blow up until that Eminem. He was shit. nominated for Grammy for that shit. And you know where he's, you know where he, yeah. But fucking, I just, I mean, like, how many fucking 
Grammy award shows do you watch? Or you know what I mean? Like I'm talking in, in hip hop realm, like fucking being that co-sign from Eminem is what put them on our yeah. radar for the most part. And most hip hop fans. Right. Um, but I bet you this. What are you saying? Like made it this shit going on now? Will Smith. How about you now? Oh, yeah. No, no, now white people, no, he's no, made it. No white people heard of him, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Right now he's now he's mainstream, mainstream. Oh, yeah. He's going to blow from here and be... You fucking have As long Eminem as he doesn't fuck Will it up Smith. and gives you information for fucking four minutes. I love it. You know what I mean? I know mean? you like, hate it, but I love it. It's not that I hate it. It's just like I can't... You know what I mean? I, I, could, I could see somebody listening to music like that and shit, but I can't see it popping in a club or on a fuck. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like how can you have a fucking thirty-two verse, a thirty-two bar fucking verse, yeah, and double time too? Yeah. Fucking, See, you know what that's I mean? That's where like I'm fucking, I'm not looking for hip hop in the club. I get completely what you're saying. Yeah, so for me, yeah. I love it because fucking, I'm good with it. The overload on information, I get completely what you're saying. But for me, it's well, like what, fucking. What, what's wrong with Lil Bill and Necro and all them motherfuckers too? They do the same shit. They talk about necrophilia. I don't know about Necro. Sorry, I don't know about Necro. But <laughs> like, um, there's over, over, so many overloads on information in Vinnie Paz and Il Bill when they talk about politics and wars and all kinds of shit. Oh, yeah. Right? Bombing for peace is like fucking for virginity. I don't know. I, I, like, I like the way Joyner puts it together. He puts it together well, but he makes it too long. Makes it too long. It's like disaster in a fucking over the beat. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just stretches it and fucking... It's not that he stretches it. It's good, but... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just too much it's too much i'm not i'm not a racist was sick it was long but it it, it, it had purpose to be long and it was sick. yeah that was a really good yeah you know what i mean yeah, but when you thought provoking it, it, it like that song where he stands where he st- st- stands in church and talks about why did you take him and what did you I take him i like it too but i can't fucking i've heard it maybe five times and i don't ever want to listen to it again that shit or that uh, uh that one where he has the green screen going around in a circle that's not the will song no no, 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 no. It was the one right before that. Anyway, that was... Uh, I really like that song from uh, Joyner. I like most of his shit. I just don't know. Like, um, on the Kamikaze there, the verses were longer than regular. I think I think there were at least 24 bars. But uh, the whole Eminem <laughs> fucking presentation and all that shit, it, it, it was a right. But then again, would you... Like, uh, what was that song called with Joyner and Eminem? Um, whatever the fuck it is. Whatever it is, soft kamikaze. I know what you're talking. Like about. I would, I, I have the. I actually bought the kamikaze CD, but out of the songs that are on it, if this, if I'm playing that CD, I might listen to it once, and then there's songs on on the CD that I could listen to fucking three, four times, not back to back, mm-hmm, but you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Just, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like it's not, it's just still too much for me, right? It's not doesn't mean that it's shit, right? It's still a, he's obviously a fucking great rapper. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that his verses are fucking too long and it's just too much. You know what I mean? Like that fucking uh, what was it? Iron Solomon, that was battling disaster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That could have been a fucking event of a fucking decade. Are you talking about Soulcon? Soulcon, Soulcon, Soulcon. Yeah, Iron Solomon disaster was awesome. Oh. Soulcon disaster was fuck. You know what I mean? That could have been an event of a fucking decade, man. Straight up, the way it was fucking built up and everything, you know. Mm-hmm. And they have to go and fucking rap for an hour and a half. Longer than that. Oh no! Yeah, you're yeah, right. It was like an hour and forty-seven minutes. A fucking shit. thirty minute of fucking round. Holy shit! Like the the irony of it all, bro. There's so uh, many songs right. that are fucking an hour and forty-seven minutes. Oh, that we're talking. Yeah, yeah and it's supposed to be an hour and forty-seven minutes. If somebody actually listened to it, I don't think we're entertaining enough to keep up the fucking. Uh, <laughs> so con this can't do it. We can't do it. No, I mean we'll get there, but it's it's one thing talking shit like we do, and another thing. Listening to rhymes and fucking punchlines, you know what I mean? Mm. How many great songs that deliver a lot of information and a lot of t- a lot of to give you a lot of pictures and punchlines and metaphors all in one are fucking two and a half three minutes long, and that's with fucking hooks and choruses, you know what I mean? With mm-hmm. bridges and choruses. So what the fuck do you need an hour and a half for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got like say what is it fucking whatever the fuck it is forty five minutes each, right? Take that fucking forty five minute fucking verse, right? And condense it to 15. Mm-hmm. Imagine the craziness of the fucking punch bars, you, punch lines you would get. Oh, for sure. Other you know what I mean? Each or... one would be boom, 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 and you're done in a minute and a half. Mm-hmm. And people would be going go back and l- looking over it because, oh, that was sick, that was sick. You know what I mean? 
Who the fuck is going to go over the fucking disaster in fucking the Iron Solomon's Solomon battle there? Like longer? No, meaning like if it was... Oh, go it, over, like look over. Yeah, but like, you uh, know what I mean? But like, yo, that battle was sick, you know what I mean? And the, uh, the, the, and the rounds would be like three minutes long. Mm-hmm. People would go back and be like, yo, this this bar here, this bar here. Nobody even remembers any fucking bars. I can see why they didn't do threes, but I mean, two fives and a seven, maybe something like that, but not. Bro, even well, the, the content five. was shit, anyways. Not so much from Diz, but Soulcon shit the bed. And I'm, a, I was a huge. Soul Bro, Con you could fan. be as great as you want. I'm not gonna listen to you fucking shit on somebody for fucking forty five minutes. Yeah, I would. It's just not. I don't know, man. Uh, I think <laughs> if you can, if he would have condensed that, it would have been a classic. Because it would be fucking Mm-mm. the hardest part. But it still wouldn't have been a classic. Content was shit on Soulcon's end. But I mean, this, the, the disaster's fucking lyrics, right? Mm. If you take that 45 minutes and make fucking 15 out of it, bro, that would have been a killer. You know what I mean? Each bar, each each, each punchline would be memorable. You know what I mean? Now we're, now we're running on like that battle. So let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's wrap this motherfucker up. For Kirill Kasatsky, I'm Jason Kelly. This is The Building Downtown. Peace Don't out. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Peace. Building downtown, building downtown, building downtown, building downtown.